to talk about how disgusting. Vamanos! Let me know when. Pop. We good? Rolling? Okay, so Hannah Stocking, I don't know what to say. I, are, are we rolling already? Yeah, oh, we jump right in. Oh, yeah, no, I don't, wow. we don't, you, you plan things out and put effort into your work <laughs> and you script it out and you don't, no, we just go. We don't even shower here, as you can see. Not even a three, two, one, okay, I, rolling, no, no, nothing, no, we're, we're going, we're going, and we're done. Thank you so much for being here. All right, my pleasure. Uber's here. See ya. Yes, thank you. That's all we needed, that 15 seconds for TikTok. Bye. Um, <laughs> and we got it. No, I had such big plans about impressing you today. Like, I'm realizing that I don't. I'm gonna say my generation. What? Oh, not yet. I'm just Emily. Sure okay. Way. Also, you're here the first day that Emily is going to shoot me with a Nerf gun if I interrupt you. No way. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, can I, you shoot me too? Look how many Nerf darts I have. Whoa! It's a it's a satchel. She's got a sa a bag. <laughs> I obviously. She's gonna shoot muzzles at your face. <laughs> I obviously have a tick where I cannot not interrupt someone. We're working, because you get excited. I get excited. I, it's not like silencing. And it's okay, it's okay, because I get excited. I get excited just to hear you speak. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> you're such a legend. <laughs> okay. Then. Anything that comes out of your mouth, I don't know what to expect. That's the take. That's the take, internet. Yeah, when there you go. <laughs> just be excited, okay? Because you're about, open arms. I, I love you, that's so nice, because I'm realizing like, I'm, uh, intimidated by you. No, 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 no. Okay, now I'm gonna interrupt you. Okay. No. Can, uh, I'm intimidated by you. This generation. This but I'm also in awe of you. You are just like a staple for just women and comedy in general, and you've just paved the way to for so many people and so many careers. And I just look up to you. Oh, and my family—they're all huge uh, fans of you too. Make me feel old. This is her way of saying like my grandmother loves you. No. <laughs> and I've had to sit through your shows and be like, can we watch PewDiePie, please? I'm like, no, we're watching our program. No Whitney's way. on. Oh Whitney's my God. on. Stop it. Stop it. You're an the actual loud icon. Lady's on. No, they think it's a um, they think it's Fran Drescher's new show. They're like, Fran's on, and it's me. <laughs> <laughs> that is so no, it's just that's that thank you. That's so nice. But I realized, like, you know, I was like, I want to like look good and look cute, and then I fully just look like Vincent Gallo today. No. You don't even know who that is, I bet. Hey, uh, uh, I don't, but I, I, I was telling you, you look like, you know, like every art teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I had this whole plan where I was gonna brush my hair, I was gonna put on like a top, and here and we did, are. you did, though. No. Yeah. This is, uh, you, you don't, you, yeah, you, you don't wanna see my hair when it's not done. It is atrocious it's, some some is straight some is curly at least you have consistency you've brushed it i'm like i I, just, I had to get it done i can't do it myself have you ever dyed bleach your hair um i've bleached like the middle uh part before it was atrocious it but. gets so dry that yeah. there's no way to not make it frizzy and i thought i was having like a victorian like jane austen moment with my victorian bun and i just look like a like a dangerous person, so I'm sorry you had no. to meet me this way. Well, now, like, that only took you two seconds, but now you look but like a ballerina. But, but here's what I'm saying. <laughs> in the future, uh, in LA, I don't know how long you've been here, but um, if you see a woman that looked like that, don't hug her or say hi. <laughs> go the other, don't go into her house. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> okay. put it in my so notes, I just want, it's okay. Just, it's just like, I, I, I'm very protective of you. Next time you see someone that looks like this, don't enter their home and, like, <laughs> and let her close the door behind you. Go the other way. Just be like, no, Opposite no. Opposite way. I heard not flag. to talk to strangers. Oh my god. Um, uh, yeah. So I realized I was like nervous to meet you. There's this weird like I'm so in awe of you guys because I like cannot wrap my head around how bad it would have been if I had a camera in the internet when I was your age. Oh. So many people would be dead. Yeah. I think you know that's maybe. Yeah. That, that's a good. A good point like but for me it's like I can't imagine going on stage alone and slanging jokes and making You're people laugh right like that I'm the best <laughs> I know I'm are you so are. talented no that's so nice but it's like it's just so interesting that there's like a different my nightmare would be sitting in front of like a computer and like editing it and like not knowing like I guess I'm just gonna send this out and I guess we'll just see yeah I know but I mean the beauty comes in editing mm. it's like with you it's live and you can't rely on the edit to take this something out of we something. Edit none like, of it. We edit nothing. I'm saying when it's on nothing, stage. No. Oh yeah, this is live. Like I'm just authentic. I'm me. I just want people to know the real me. 
This is an inside joke of our producers, by the way, you guys, because sometimes I will edit out like words. I'll be like, I started on that line. Can you please take it out? Or, oh, yeah. Just hard cut. I'm like, sounding. I'm, people are going to do an intervention. Quick. You need to cut it. I, I f- sound unwell. <laughs> but you are just like, I, I love you. You come bearing gifts. Look at this. I love buying people presents. It's kind of pathological and inappropriate because <laughs> we're not that close. You're like a stranger to me. So the fact that I bought you that six months ago is like weird. Oh, and when when we first met in real life, I got you a pray mantis bed. Man, Bad, yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. What is that? Are we? Are we? Do we think we're not enough, and we need to give each other presents? What is it? I, I think every time we see each other, we can just take turns giving each other. Now presents. I feel pressure. Next time I see, I'm like, fuck. I have to get no, it. no, no. Next time it's my turn. But you know what's weird about me? I don't. Um, I try not to do too many holiday gifts. I like to do gifts like when I want to give. It's like I want to give that now. I don't want to save that. I'm gonna break it by the time it's Christmas but <laughs> I won't you won't get a Christmas present from me but you will get a random present a like random, in, Feb- yeah. in like February do you know what I mean you can call it just like oh it's you know your your half birthday yeah I don't but yeah I don't like that we can only give presents on birthdays and uh the other one Christmas I yeah. like to do it just whenever but it's weird if I just give it to you on a random I'm like hey, I bought that for you six months ago it's like weird why I, I, I like I like the the surprise element of it. Like you never really know when it's coming. It doesn't have to be a holiday or a birthday. I like the Whitney present giving way. Your parents are just nailed it or what? Why are you so well adjusted? What, what do you mean? You're like <laughs> like I I thought the next generation was like negative and like meh. Like you're such a like kind. Oh, like, you're, you're so sweet. You're such a like bright light. Oh gosh. Um. No. I think. Uh. Yeah. I think it's. I She's have to so think. Oh golly, jeepers. Oh gee, Willikers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like how did you not how are you not a monster oh um, i would be a monster you would oh my god like like how like what how would you old do are you? okay i'm allowed to ask that i am uh i just turned 29 nice. mm. so what okay and then what are you doing to, why do you look like a piece of cake what's going I, on with your skin uh there's a uh, caked up makeup <laughs> oh i got my makeup done i want to do like grapeseed that. oil though we've talked about grapeseed oil and how i yeah i think that's a secret no i do that and you do that and we don't look the same so what else <laughs> Because, no, 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 I use that too, and I don't look like you, so what's going on? Oh my no, but gosh. I want to do with your face, though, is it a cake? Yeah, you know is it video? a cake with the, with the knife and yeah. it just well, slices I you, open? I guess you had to learn to do makeup really young, because, like, I would never, you, did you do your makeup? No, nope. okay, okay, absolutely okay, good, not, good, 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 good. I did not, yeah. because okay, that was making me upset. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think, yeah, when I when I do makeup, it takes, you know, 15 minutes, it's just tinted moisturizer, mm-hmm. a little bit of mascara, it'll yeah. get on my eyelid, but... I'll leave it there, you mm-hmm. know, for a little uniqueness. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, re- regarding, uh, you know, my, my upbringing, yeah, I, I think I owe it a lot to my parents mm-hmm. and especially therapy. Okay. Therapy helps a lot. What did you do therapy <laughs> like for, your- though? Did you go when you started realizing you were famous, were you just like, I should get into therapy? See, that's funny you say that. I still, I mean, I I think I'm known on the internet. I, I wouldn't, you know, categorize myself as being famous. I, I think that... Um, you know, I just got no, to the I realization. No, I think 20 million followers like don't really know who you are. They just kind of followed you and were like, who is this? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you shoot it? Just now? Let, let her finish. Yeah. Okay. Let her finish about therapy. <laughs> okay, but I'm not. Here's the one thing. I do interrupt when I when someone that I have love for, I know it's inappropriate. It's, it's premature. But I feel like when you're like women's business, you just kind of bond prematurely. If you say something, then I'm going to interrupt you. So just don't. Um, I like it though, because if you interrupt me, I have severe ADHD, so I immediately am on to the next topic. That's what this whole so I podcast can't even is. remember. It was about therapy. I forget my train. Yeah, of thought, yeah, no, though. we'll get we'll get you back. Don't worry. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I have COVID fog. You have ADHD. This podcast has me great. Yeah. This, be, yeah. this is like this is just a peak listening experience. How was your your COVID experience? It was. It was. I feel Im- so embarrassed talking about it. Uh, uh, I have like shame about it talking about it. Um, because it was so bad, mm. and I ha- I got it so bad, and I don't know. People talk about like, the, did I get like a big viral load or something? Which I, never say viral load <laughs> and make eye contact with me. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was at work yesterday, and these people were like, it "Was the viral load?" I was like, "Everyone, stop saying viral load." Jesus, That's weirdly sexual. But because like, you also weird. don't know what you're saying. <laughs> you don't know. None of us know what that means. So, Who made up that term? No, I love it that people... And that, I've never heard that before. Literally, like, <laughs> actors like, so it was the viral load. You don't know what you're asking, and I don't know what I'm answering. Why are we pretending we're doctors? None of us know <laughs> fucking know. anything. You know what I mean? So what's your blood type? I don't know, and you don't care. But it was because you have a blood type A. You don't know if that's even <laughs> true. Yeah. What is this performance? And then we're all just, like, 
performing a COVID conversation. Yeah, and then you get the PCR test. Yeah, yeah but, but the PCR isn't related to the, the really rapid know, and if how. If you were to know. ask one more question, the whole house of cards would fall <laughs> down. Yeah, uh, I know. Like, do you know what a PCR test is? And they're like, oh, no, I just heard other people say that. Like, we're all just saying what we've heard other people say in conversations. I know, but I guess, like, nothing is really set in yes. stone because everything is, like, changing. It's just such a new it's thing. Every and... No, there's no point in, like, like I feel like as soon as I learn something the next day, it's totally undone. So I'm like, I'm not gonna bother learning anything until when the doctors tell me what this fucking thing is, I'll learn it then. Yeah. Until then, I'm just gonna assume it's fucking gonna kill everyone all the time. <laughs> but no. I was, uh, no, I was, and I did, uh, uh, I had it so bad, but it was hard. I got so much neurological stuff and I feel weird talking about it because I don't wanna like scare anybody, but I don't think that's, you can't, you know what I mean? Like, cause I got nothing respiratory. It was all like neurological. And I was like, I didn't know if it was from the antibiotics because I do very poorly on antibiotics. Mm. Um, and was it an like antiviral I, ha I don't know. Mm. I'm going to say it. I don't know. Okay, okay. I okay. say that. <laughs> I could have just bullshitted and be like, yeah, no, it was antiviral antibiotics. Like what? What does that mean? Wait, wait, Why so does your generation know about medicine? We never knew well, anything. Well, I, al I also, I have a, a pre-med degree though. What? Yeah. Yeah. I, wait, I knew you were like in biochemistry or something. I know yeah, I yeah, it was, yeah. I, I, I think I deserve the Nerf gun. I definitely just like cut amazing. you off. I'm like, none of us have any idea what we're talking about. We're all idiots. Really, like, actually, I'm a fully practicing doctor. Uh, in addition, no, 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 no. In addition I, to my nine other careers. Um, I, like six years ago, yes. But now it's just like strictly videos and internet. So I I haven't been exercising that part of what my brain. What No, I disagree. Because I look at your stuff and I'm like, this stuff is so like cerebral. Not that you're applying like medical thing. but it's like I don't think people understand it requires so much discipline it requires so much like dare I say like surgical like watching your stuff a lot of people I don't know how you have this it's a, it truly is a gift the understanding of and we talk about this all the time Emily like knowing when to cut the time the comedic timing like when people say I could never do stand-up the comedic timing like it's not That's how I feel <laughs> but you can't teach anyone that mm -hmm. you just have to do it it's trial and error and there's no way to really tell someone how it's an instinct. and how to like make it your own and differentiate yourself like you can't like just copy somebody's style and like Damn really it. succeed there goes our youtube career <laughs> i was about to like, do a big spelling bee video oh my god you saw that one? Oh, that's so funny are you having as much fun as it looks like you're having i know i think that's the beauty of of just starting out and then yeah. just like seeing like what your creative freedom brings you because there i mean there wasn't as many eyes like that that was the most fun time for me and think, you were yeah. incubated by fans not executives yeah who, who were guessing what fans want yeah you're like no, no i know my like you were focus group workshopping with your fan base whereas a lot of like writers, people are like, I want to be a writer, I want to be an actress. I'm like, go make videos and do your thing because you're not going to be able to get past all the gatekeepers and do what you do. Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if, if you had come to me 10 years ago, not me, like I would have thought it was awesome, but like, but <laughs> some idiot had been like, hey, I want to do a video where my eyes like go in circles and I, because. <laughs> I she love has that. this. You've done your research. Have you? Um, yeah, I Googled you this morning. Did you feel it? Did you feel it? I felt something. I feel something. like you could feel my Google. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the eye, my eye was going your in circles. Eyes, okay, so what is it? Why do your eyes do that? Um, so Her eyes go in I, circles. I think, uh, I think yeah. now's a great time to finally say it. And I've never <laughs> said it like publicly, but it's I VFX. Get. Yeah. VFX. Sorry, I, that would have been so funny. I'm gay. Oh, um, what was that? Thanks, was thanks that? for the hits. Thanks for the hits. No, please. Can no, you it's pretend all to VFX. come out. We need some YouTube uh, subscribers. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you still can do clickbait. some of it. You can do some of I it. I can do. You can totally. Th that. Okay, that's oh. not fucking VFX. Wait, dude. Let, me, let me. Am I doing it alone? Yes, that is not VFX. Okay, but I can't. Ah, gross. <laughs> Oh, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. You can train. Yeah, you can definitely yeah. train yourself. You just threw a COVID droplet at me from doing that. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> from your eye just shot out. I don't think that's normal. I don't. Is it a Try muscle it. or is Try it a it. vein? Try it. Just cross your eyes in the top. I, you I do think, it for me. I think there's okay. something with your optic nerve kind of like being undone that allows it to float. But I don't think anybody's really been able to control it like that. However, I have heard from some fans being like, taking a picture of my specific eye video on a PowerPoint in their class and a professor is actually teaching the class like, oh yo, look, look at this girl. She can actually move her eye and dilate her pupils on command and like. I, by the way, I love your impression of a teacher. Yo. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go to school? <laughs> that school, did you go to the Dangerous Minds school? 
<laughs> was that crazy like Waldorf school? <laughs> um, but oh, uh, but let me ask you something because it's like I do feel like, and then we're gonna watch this YOLO video. I cannot wait. Um, I do feel like there's this like Gen Z. What is it? Are you Gen Z? I am a millennial. That's right, okay. I think I'm I'm kind of. Cl- yeah, you're on the cusp. Who gives a shit? I don't know. Yeah, Virgo rising. Got it. Um, uh, Are you Virgo rising? I'm Virgo, 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 double Virgo. Oh, yes. nice. We get along. I'm an Aquarius. Oh, good. No, you just to get along with Virgo, you just have to do exactly what they say. Yeah, and everything will be fine. And I'm a free bird, so I'm like, <laughs> okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yes. As long as you do exactly what I say every second, uh, perfect, <laughs> and we will be just fine. <laughs> Um, the eye twist. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> as long as you keep entertaining me with your eyes, we'll be fine. Um, no, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. Do you remember? It was important. You. Okay, so why is this? Okay, so I'm always torn between this, like, you know, because I think it's just because it's like I came up in such a specific time and then it's like kind of got, e- like, not easier in a way, but it got, um, more accessible, things just got more accessible out of nowhere. Um, I think just like s- being able to start out to on make your something. own. Yes, yeah, like without I, a team. When I know? started, you couldn't even put yourself on tape for an audition. You had to find a friend who had a camera. And but like, that's like what's so amazing about what you've been able to do. You've been able to navigate that extremely hard space and become the legend that you are. And I think that like today, it is hard to become you like know, to viral. Offer you a weekly guest slot on our show. <laughs> Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> no, but I, th- th- thank you so much. But I look at you and I do the opposite. I go, I would have posted some sh- I wouldn't have had any of this because I would have posted something fucking, if half the shit I said in comedy clubs when I was just making mistakes and learning, Ooh, yeah. I had put on camera and put out. Right. Oh, I Canceled. would be living in a bunker with Matt Lauer <laughs> oh, no. in the Hamptons or whatever. Oh, no. I don't know. Um, just like, in a hole somewhere. Just, like, yeah, like, like the fact that you... You have to be, here's the thing that I love about you guys. You have to be a good person because I don't think you can get away with it mm-hmm. as long as we could, like uh, like old Hollywood, whatever, these, uh, they could get away with being assholes for so long because number one, you don't really see their personality. You right. guys can't hide that as much as, as you, yeah. you know. And then their team kind of covers for them. And, yeah. then, and then there's, like, everything's being, you know, and now. And in this space too, sorry, oh my God. I, I yeah, deserve it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. Yeah. Um, no, but but I'm just saying, there's something so amazing about going like, I know all of you guys are good people. Mm-hmm. And there's something just like kind of heartening about that. Yeah. Because I know you can't hide anything. Uh, yeah, we can't. And then also like, I would say in my space, collabing is such uh, a- Do you even know what my space is? Uh, yeah. Were you on it? I was, yeah. I had a uh, top eight and everything, but I think I was like on the, I had it for like the last like three months. Dude, I saw Tom from MySpace on Raya. No! I'm sorry, wait, I think I just peeked the sound. And he, what? And he, and he uses his photo from MySpace, which I just was like, oh, it's so genius. He was my, like, right? Like he's, almost he's everybody's still first my friend. Best friend. <laughs> yeah. He's my best friend still. What an what icon. Did you match with him? No, I don't know what I did. I can't remember. I think I took a NyQuil. I don't remember, <laughs> but I also I'm dating someone. What am I saying? Oh um, my uh, God. But uh, but no, there's this. But you like, I remember watching you and going like, you, I, I watched you in some interview last night. I don't know what it was. I'm like podcast or something. Um, and it was very awkward because I think what happens with uh, is people just expect you to start going and do a, doing a sketch, and you're like, oh yeah, I know. Interviews yeah. for you are awkward, right? <laughs> interviews, yeah, extremely. I, is this one awkward? I'm not. I mean. I think the idea of a podcast is very awkward with all these cameras around and people watching and having a, a conversation. It's first but, date. Yes, but with you, you make it so fun and easy. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm just trying out for my weekly Did guest you? spot right now. Um, but uh, no, but what, why do you have to be authentic? Like, I was watching you really, like, I try to be authentic, and I remember being like, why? Why? I think why? it's just like, why can't you fucking do CGI and do the. Like, what is the, hold on, just help me understand this. So people, you want to see Superman and Michael Bay movies and CGI and then. But they have that, you know, I think it's like the relatability aspect of, you know, young girls say they wake up in the morning and they don't look perfect. Like every other actress does in a movie, you know, and they want to see, you know, some people do. Hold on, sorry, sorry, sorry. What? I'm getting in trouble. Oh, you want to shoot me? Do it. Oh, my oh, my God. God. oh my God. Holy shit. I'm so sorry. That could have taken your eye out. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. Hold on. The, the, the ephemeral joy in your eyes.
was right before it almost killed me. <laughs> and she whipped it out like. By the way, God. that is that is a woman in her late thirties in a nutshell. I'm right. doing my job. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I know. Sorry. Sorry. She's oh my just God. so so excited. Oh my God. That, oh my God I'm so like sorry. I nailed the thing I need to do. I'm so sorry. Let's uh, not say late thirties, okay? I'm sorry. I, like, yeah, it is, okay. 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 <laughs> Uh, that's embarrassing in front of Hannah. Oh we're the God. same age, just so not every time I hurt your feelings, I hurt my own. Just know. <laughs> just know. We're in this we're in this together. I'm not just hurting you, I'm also cutting. Okay. <laughs> that hurt me more, I think, than it hurt you, actually. Okay, the problem with this is that it's interrupting so much that I now we we can't even go back to what we were just talking yes, about. Yes, we can, but we don't have to be a super on like Okay. Like I, like there's two things I have in my head that I want to make sure okay. we don't we, we go back to. It could be like a brain gym exercise, like anytime we interrupt each other, just boom, and then we could see if we still remember. Remember what we Dude, were talking about? When Liza Koshy was here, well, I wasn't even on camera. Half <laughs> like we went back through the footage, and there was like nothing intelligent. It was just like <laughs> like we didn't. There was just no talking at like three hundred miles an hour. There was like, like <laughs> no, there was no. <laughs> <laughs> you, I feel like hold on, I, let's Liza Koshy. It's just like um, guttural noises. The podcast. It's just us being like, <laughs> like it's just like crazy. Um, but you guys have such infectious like positive energy but why do you so have to do you I'm, I'm yes known, I'm known for my uh, uh, positive essence uh, but why why do you have to be when you're making a video you're like I have to be relatable I have to be this but why can't you be aspirational or why can't anyone can photoshop their eyes now with a thing if yeah. you, you're I, that is inspiring to me to go yeah I want to be as good as her mm, yeah I think um which is it do you want us to be perfect or do you want us to be relatable? Which is it? Because you want both. Because when I'm relatable and don't wear makeup, you say that I'm busted. And when I do wear right. makeup, you say you're creating a false, a bad standard. Which is it? So or do you just do your that's thing? Like, she interrupted me. Get her. That, that, get I me. Can't, she I interrupted not, my ramble. That, I, that's, the, that's the battle that I'm, I'm always facing because if I am trying to be relatable, I am getting negative comments about my body image or how my face looks or something like that. But you kind of just have to bite that bullet and just try to be inspirational to the young women out there and hope you can be that role model. And then if you are being perfect, then people are like, is that Photoshop? <laughs> but yeah, you just kind of have but to like, like take a gamble. But here's the thing. Here's the other thing about that. Because I was talking to someone yesterday who was like talking about comments. People are allowed to be insecure and have a shitty day and anesthetize by judging someone else or saying so We just used to do it, not in the comment section. So for people like, people are so negative on the internet. People mm -hmm. are just negative, period. They've always done this. Mm -hmm. There was just never any proof. Yeah. There was never any way for us to access it. Yeah. So I have news for you. 15 years ago, people were like, I don't fucking like her. She's not funny. We just didn't know about it. People were like, the fucking internet is so I negative. I know, and no. now you know about just it. Just so you know, the this, truth was is all, out. this was always happening. People were always judging you and saying shit that may or may not be true, may or may not be unfair, is cruel and mean. But like, what is nice about it is, if I put out a video and I, it's just all like negative comments, I know it's not going to be a good video and I just take it down immediately. So thank you. Haters. Now yeah, I know. Yeah, and by the way, you're just making me better at my job. That's I look at exactly. haters yeah. as, as like, um, well, because this is oh, when Tim Dillon was on and he was attacking Hollywood and he was like, fucking Hollywood stupid. You have to get notes from stupid executives that know nothing about comedy. Well, on the internet, I have to get notes from people that know nothing about comedy who mm -hmm. are so much meaner that don't have an HR department. Absolutely. Are, I, I'm yeah. Like, I kind of miss these old like. Like like creepy guys. It's like getting free constructive criticism From right there. TV glass show. half full. Yeah, I mean that's like, what I love about your mindset. You're very glass half full. Interesting. <laughs> you just I mean, we're literal strangers, so it's like it's just you're gonna meet me at some point and be like, oh. Um, that's why I try to get the podcast before the person gets to know me. Do you know what I'm saying? Why? Like, why did you go into therapy? Was it like I just want to get ahead of it, or is it like a specific thing? I think it was it was a built up thing that I just kind of thought like things are just superstitious or I'm just ripping on my hair for no reason. And then I just thought, you know, I should go to therapy. Uh -huh. My mom suggested it and I went in and, you know, it was I've never really like been that person to really. When was this? this I, I started like, therapy. Were you famous? Yeah, I started therapy like three years ago. OK, so you had already had a lot of stuff. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Had stuff coming at you, I bet. Yeah, totally. And then I've always like been very just like. I'm detached. Uh, I don't really express my feelings. So I would say like 
just people listening, if, if you're listening to this and, and you're not really good at expressing your feelings to, to certain people, like therapy is actually like the best thing because you pay them not to say anything uh, and you can trust them. And it's at the end of the day, it's like a massage for your brain. It really is like that's such a great way to put it. Like mm -hmm. it's like I don't have to like rush through that like it's like there i mean you do you have 45 minutes and there's a clock oh, right yeah. there and no, it's, and then <laughs> it's fucking 30 dollars a minute uh, but i mean i do feel like i'm really curious in how you know that you're emotionally what, what did you just say that you're reserved or you're yeah i mean i've always been that way i've always yeah it's I'm not just... that you're not having the feelings it's that you just like don't want very private about it yeah interesting like i just deal with it alone what if you're like i've never felt a feeling i hear about them and i'm like Mm. I think about no I, I, I mean when I so was feeling psychopath. those feelings alone I wish I was that yeah I was like how do I just so you uh, felt them but you feel them and you're just like because I'm so curious like I'm really good at suppressing the yeah. emotion until and then I give myself like okay at eight I'm off and then I can cry yay and then I give my you myself schedule that your, yeah. yeah yeah I schedule nervous breakdowns too is oh, that you what you're trying to say yes she's like no oh I love that oh, we can so relate funny. on that I just snotted on myself um so okay so that's so but this is part of the reason you're successful too because this is something that um I was uh uh, uh with David Agus the other day a doctor that comes um on the podcast sometimes and I a big problem with uh me having COVID when I had it for anyone um I wasn't taking my regular uh, antidepressants mm -hmm. because I was like, I just couldn't keep food down and I was Ooh. like sick and I was yeah. like, you know, um, trying to take painkillers and like I was ordering like weed tinctures, like it's just because painkillers. is that? Painkillers <laughs> did not work. Oh, so sweet. Um, uh, painkillers don't, uh, uh, didn't work on it for me, oh. uh, on it at all. Cause I had so much like deep muscle pain and bone pain. You know, I had that too. Wait, I couldn't walk. I was trying to work out. And I was like working out, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, I, it wouldn't go away. It's like a nightmare. Yeah. Um, and it would wake me up out of my sleep. Yeah, nightmare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I didn't take my Prozac, and I wasn't, um, uh, in the Prozac I basically take for uh, recurring thoughts that are kind of self-flagellating and mm -hmm. that go on a loop. So right. I like done work in 12-step programs, in therapy, but like, I talked to a psychiatrist where I was like, I don't think I'm depressed. Like, I don't wake up sad. I want to get out of bed. I'm, if anything, it's the opposite. I'm too motivated. I'm too big of a workaholic. Like, I should slow down more. Yeah. Like, whatever. I'm addicted to adrenaline. Blah blah blah. And um, and I was like, the only problem is I will leave a conversation with someone and just be like, you shouldn't have said that. That was stupid. Oh, I'm like that too. For like 40 minutes. <laughs> for like 40 minutes, I will be like, I'm, I could be like that for the whole rest of the day, and then it will keep me up all night. Yeah, no. I all wonder. I, I hope I didn't hurt anybody's feelings. I hope that that was weird. Yeah. No, so, meanwhile, they're mm -hmm. like, I just had a great time with Hannah. They're, or they're not thinking about you at all. Yeah. They, 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 or they're thinking the same thing. They're going, I yeah. should have said that to Hannah. I should have. <laughs> and then, like the beating myself up thing, and it's like I, yeah. I don't know how to stop it. And, and at like, the end of the day, they're just like, oh, I wonder what I should eat for lunch. Yeah, no, like yeah, and it's not even that serious. You're you just like, ah! it's like the, yeah. it's like the new, um, uh, like it used to be like. Uh, like I finally got used to getting recognized in public, and then I, f and, and as soon as I got used to it, um, people would have their phones out, you know, and be like, oh, people are taking pictures, and they're like taking pictures of themselves, selfies. They, everyone uh, thinks they're the celebrity yeah. now. Like I was in, um, or they're on Facetime. Yeah, <laughs> and and you're because like, the phone's up, and then you're like, oh god, just yeah. ask for a picture. You're like, I'm just like, do you have yeah. one? And they're like, who are you, ma'am? Are you the lady from the Progressive commercial? Whoa, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> no. That's funny. Um, I get Kimmy Gibbler all the time. Whoa! You guys see that? I don't see. No, I don't. No, see that. no. not like. If, I think if, without without the glam. If you I were to like do that, <laughs> you know just what I mean? go cross eyed. Yeah, if yeah, I were, I could see it. <laughs> if my eyes were going in circles, uh, yeah. No, I, I see. I get it. I yeah. get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, but people don't realize <laughs> how hurtful they can be when they do that. Mm -hmm. Like just. Before you compare someone to someone else, not that she's not stunning, not that you, uh, you know what I'm saying. It just is making yeah, me think. Gibbler's a, a babe. Last time, last night was the first. Uh, uh, or yesterday was the first time I've been around people, and everyone's like bored and awkward and on a set, and it's so clear people haven't been socializing. Like everyone's like, like <laughs> yeah. the small talk is really awkward and far away. And everyone's like, what? Like no one can. People hear are just sweating for no, no one, reason. No like one can hear each other through the mask. Go, like, going to shake your hands. Like, let's not nervous. do it. Let's not talk. Let's just not talk. It's not. It's like not even worth it. It's like so awkward, but there's always, everyone's going, you know who you look like? And you're like, you want to take a walk and think about this? 
because this might fuck up my whole day. I get Kevin Costner. I've had three people tell me no. I look like Kevin Costner. And then I did that face app of like. Well, now you have to take the mask yeah. down. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, ah! put it back. You don't. You don't. No, you don't. <laughs> you took a second. Yeah. I, no, I, no, I took a second trying to think of who Kevin but Costner is. But then I did is. that face app where you take it and it'll tell you what percentage. And I got Michael Costner. Kevin, Kevin I got Costner. Kevin Costner. Oh my God. I got Kevin Costner. Uh, I don't fog. see it. I got Kevin Costner. Whoa. Twice. COVID, that's not COVID fog. That's rage. That's deep, <laughs> that's that's deep so anger and and female rage. Uh, that's late boy, 30s rage. That's deep shame. That was oh, not. No. That was, that's my thing about the COVID fog. See, I want to go like COVID fog. And it's like, no, I think you're just being a fucking bitch. And, you're, <laughs> yeah. and I like. Like my dude, my dude, my lover. Anytime he's mad at me, I'm like, I think it's COVID fog. He's like, No, you, you texting your ex at midnight's not COVID fog. You're right, Chipotle calling you in the <laughs> middle of the night isn't COVID fog. How much longer can I ride out this excuse? Right, right, I need to be right, on the right. bottom. COVID fog. I just can't be on the top. I don't know how much longer I can use that excuse. We now take a break in our Hannah Stocking joy extravaganza to talk about. How Emily needs Stitch Fix. I do. I hate all my clothes. <laughs> I don't like to dress myself. If someone could dress me, I want to be a baby. Here's, <laughs> here's, here's, because this is a basically a personal stylist that you take a bunch of quizzes and they just send you clothes that are cool and fashionable and you don't have to make any decisions. And you don't need a subscription. See, that's why Emily's here. She focuses on the details, mm -hmm. the nitty gritty that I would never have read in this ad. That's an important thing. So you're not obligated. Yeah, you can try it once or you can sign up for automatic delivery. See, that I, as someone with commitment issues, I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be, I, everything for me has to be month to month. Mm -hmm. Subscriptions, relationships, Lease. leases. Mm -hmm. Employees. Antidepressant prescriptions. No, no, no. That's, that's, this is like every month we, I need to revisit. It's the one thing you shouldn't do month to month. Every month I'm like, I don't, let's try a new one. Let's, try, and that could be why. <laughs> why we're here. That's why we're here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God damn it. Get started today at stitchfix.com slash Whitney and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash Whitney for 25% off when you keep everything in no your offense, fix. No offense, but if you're listening, you need this. Stitchfix.com slash Whitney. Come be a baby with me. <laughs> Babies don't, I guess they do have wardrobe. Yeah, they get dressed. Someone picks their clothes someone and gets them dressed. That's so true. It's... Stitch Fix! <laughs> you you want to wear onesies all day? Hey, Emily. Yes, Whitney. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? Now, don't say me. How long do Please we have? Please don't. I <laughs> We're trying to keep these less than a minute, right? Yes. I have a list of grievances. I have a litany of problems that could probably be solved by just quitting this show. One of my biggest problems is that therapy is too expensive. It's not only too expensive, always just too far. Mm -hmm. It's time expensive. It's emotionally expensive. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. I expressed to my therapist anxiety about having to spend $240 an hour for yeah, 40 so minutes. People are like, what's bothering you? The price right. of this and, you know and what? the distance of this from my home. And she didn't have any helpful feedback on that. Can we just like smile and nod. Can we just really t quick talk about the fact that Emily went to a therapist once on Halloween? <laughs> this is my favorite. This We shouldn't bury this in an ad. I hope you, this will teach you guys to not skip ads because our ads are, better than our, the podcast at this point. Um, <laughs> Emily went to a therapist on Halloween and he showed up in a fox costume and didn't no, address it. he was a cat. Oh, right. He was a cat with a black nose, <laughs> whiskers, whiskers and ears, a, and a tail. And a tail. A bushy tail. And he, First session. First session. And he was a psychiatrist. This was a <laughs> medicine doctor. And it was a random Wednesday. It was like a random, it wasn't, you know what I mean? Like, and it was at a doctor's office. Like, I, he walked in and I almost fell over. I, I, dude, and the fact that you sneakily took pictures. Oh, and then I sneaked two pictures. Uh, we'll put them up. I sneaked two pictures. And he sat down and looked at me seriously and tried to talk to me about, like, my mental health. <laughs> As a cat. As a cat. Meow. I was like, what? I, I, so I left with a prescription I didn't need. <laughs> for my cat allergies. For my cat allergies. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even remember his name, but I was just like, uh, it was comical. Hey, by the way, if you knew his name, don't say it no, on the podcast. No, uh, okay, he should be shamed. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, if you remember, please don't First say all, it. I don't tr- trust any adult that comes to work. I don't need work. any psychiatrist on my bad side. But I don't need any adult. I- I'm sorry if you do this. Like adults that come to work dressed for Halloween, <laughs> I already have a problem with. You're going to try to help me? So, Emily, maybe we could work on your anger issues with BetterHelp.com. <laughs> you need BetterHelp.com. I definitely you need, need BetterHelp. No, help. Emily needs BetterHelp.com online therapy to complain about her in-person therapists. Yes, 100%. <laughs> 100%. Um, so, as you... Look, doing therapy in person, I just feel like that was ridiculous. That's we had a good run. So 2019. Not necessary mm-hmm. anymore. 100%. BetterHelp.com is solving this problem. The, BetterHelp is like... When restaurants learned about like fast food model, and they're delivery. like, oh, this is so much yeah. faster. Yeah. Uh, BetterHelp.com is more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and good for you listeners. Get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com <laughs> slash Whitney. If oh, your, bo- so- if actually, your boss terrorizes you while you're working. <laughs> you can sue her. And then <laughs> go to BetterHelp.com. But then go to BetterHelp.com. <laughs> Thank you. Betterhelp.com for better help. Are you going to do live shows when we're back? What, like comedy shows? Have you done some? Yeah. I will appreciate that as a fan. I think that's just like such a muscle and such an amazing thing. I don't know. You have to tour. You have to do something. I I, I, I don't know. Do that. Oh, my God. Make character. You can do something. Why not? I'll help you put like a stage show together. No. Yeah. I'll take 90% of the profits. Uh, but I'll help you. I'll help you. Just friend to friend. I'll just Tour help with you. you. I just want to support other women. Wouldn't 90, that 10. be fun if yes. me, you, and Tim Dillon just went on like <laughs> tour together? Yeah, your demo and his demo in the same building? No, thank you. Kids and then Gosh, Tim Dillon fans? That would, be, that would be fun. Literally, like, yeah, no. I don't, yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't, his fan base would have to uh, ask for a respite from prison. I think you have to, like, to get out, oh to come and gosh, go back. Oh, my gosh, no way. But, yeah, you have to tour. No way. You have to tour. Gosh. But you can do, you can do an interactive thing. Like, I think people think touring, and the way touring's going to come back is going to look very different than the way it was before. So, doing stuff on a screen and, and playing videos and, do, you know. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, yeah, I just yeah. have my own little twist on it. And I do have an excessive amount of energy. I still consider this the morning just because I woke up so early, so I'm not peak energy. So what but is I do this? need to is release. This just, is this just joy? What is it? Is this I, I just a good childhood? I don't know. What is it? Oh, my, my energy? Oh, the therapist? I don't know. You're just having like, so I, I think I used to be like this, actually. I no! Look, no, I think I used to have energy. I look at her. <laughs> you do! By the way, you're looking at yourself in 10 years, so just, just but, know. But you, you have the energy, though. Duh. Not really. You're, Duh. you're Duh. <laughs> lifting me up a little bit. What I realize is like, this, I normally am like, kind of almost bordering on manic, but I... <laughs> I am. It's true. For me. It's true. It's true. Like I have kind of a manic energy, and I think that a year into the pandemic, <laughs> I realized I started to get depressed. I just started to get like, okay, this is getting. I, I think depressing. I channel. Yeah, I channel that into just. I I know that there's just so much energy and it needs to be released. I need to scream. What? You just gotta let it out. Where do you? What do you? Do you? So, I mean, anywhere. Let me ask you, with your, the people that you have on, like, I'll see someone go, like, viral on, or whatever. What does that even mean? How many, is there a definition for that? Um, I think viral is, like. What does that mean? I, I think it's if, like if other meme pages pick up on it and start reposting it. and if Yeah, it's, it's like, like it spreads everywhere. Like, mm-hmm. a viral load. <laughs> a viral I'm load. I'm just always curious, because people will say, they'll be like, that video went viral. And I'm just, like, so curious, is there a number that. Or is it subjective? Mm. I think I think the number is subjective, but I also but think that we, it's it's how much it spreads. I think and we how should many pick people. a rule. We but need to pick also, out. Also, I think it is subjective because I think if a video does over forty million, that's viral. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! So how do you do? You know that <laughs> that is like forty million views. Uh, I mean, that's three friendses in terms of numbers. Yeah. Like, I don't think you guys understand how much more <laughs> successful you are than your the people you look up to. I'm just, no, I'm just telling you, that. from a no. number, no, it's like, I'm just telling you, I, I'm worried about you. Like, I don't, like, you guys are famous in a way that's, like, so wild and yeah, so, yeah. I, do you know what I'm saying? It's just, it, no. it's, it's wild in the sense, like, I, I feel like 
with you, it's it's you see you, your fans, you interact with your fans. For me, it's all behind a screen. Yeah. So I don't actually see and interact with them as much unless I leave my house. And right. then I'm like, oh yeah. Sometimes there are times where I'm looking around like, who are they? <laughs> who are they running towards or something? Because I, I forget. I'm yeah. just I don't see it first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you guys, I mean, it's like there's a. You know, the biggest TV show, like, say, comedy is probably, like, six million, probably. What do you mean? Uh, like, viewers? viewers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like these, it's just like, it's a different kind of fame that there's no blueprint for. And just, this is not going to end well for you. I'm just saying. <laughs> Ha, there's no blueprint. Yeah, you can definitely, yeah, peak. It's different than, Di it's not like Disney Channel. It's not like being mm -hmm. a child star. It's not like being famous. Yeah, right. It's a different kind of fame that no and one's really And it is really a gamble. Seen. It's like some days you crush and you just produce heaters or you produce deleters. <laughs> and you just got to delete them, yeah, because it just doesn't perform well. Hmm. But are there ever times where you're just, what's wrong with that? What do you mean? Like, oh, like it doesn't perform yeah, well? Yeah, what's wrong with just being like, meh, that one was for me. I think uh, or you I you like your business, so you have to go like, this business. has to hit a certain And number. also with what I do, it's just immediate instant gratification uh, because you just see all the numbers flood in and then when you post something that doesn't get the right numbers, it's like, gosh. It's like I almost fall in, a lot of people do. I've talked to other internet people and they also fall into little ethers almost and they're just like hey gosh you know like i'm not getting the rush of serotonin or anything or dopamine what's what's going on yeah and so it's just like oh it constant, becomes addictive like, so for rat you, race yeah so for you it's like it's it's interesting so is it yeah as content creators you guys it's a little more like the gauge is 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 your instinct whereas like in TV and movies, you don't get to pick if something comes out or doesn't or where it comes out. And, right. and if you pull it down, like you don't get to say, like, I didn't like that. Well, can we pull it down? You're like, fuck. Right. Like, I'm in that embarrassing movie, you know? Yeah. So yeah. it's like it's a lot of like your judgment. All yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And then managers. And I'm yeah, that same rush feeling, I, I feel like it probably correlates for you if you get like a big explosive laugh, huh? Um Yeah, I've gone a little numb. What happens <laughs> is is it, it's the, 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 what is it, the thing, what's it, the, the goalpost move? Is that the expression? Mm -hmm. I keep saying, the COVID fog is also making me say like dumb shit. Like yesterday <laughs> I was like, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't teach it to fish. You're like, what? Like, I don't it's think like that's something the saying. my grandpa would say. I'm like mixing up platitudes. Like, I don't know what the, like, I'm just like, it's just making me dumber. God, it just making me yes, dumber. Yes. And you know how it annoys me? Cause it's, ah. It's this is the fucking this virus is so fuck. It's the perfect uh, COVID fog. Perfectly feels like someone's drunk, like kind of you know. Like yeah. I'll just be, I'll just be like anyway. So I am what? Yeah, what were you it's talking like, about? I know it seems like I'm Alex Lerner because uh, the, these he said these muscles kind of stopped working up here. Oh no way! Yeah, yeah, not Botox. I just had like a little like neurological stuff in my head. Oh, just you specifically. Me specifically. Interesting. Yeah. A lot, there's some other people that had like a what? little like, Bell's palsy, but that could have been from stress or something else. Cause I was like, yeah, I had a lot of crazy shit. I, that reminds me. And I do, I want to circle back and hear about your hallucination where you broke your nose. <laughs> The, it's how you just breathe into it. It's just so embarrassing because I know that everyone's building a case that I like need an intervention. There's something very wrong with me. Unless, I, yeah, if you don't want to talk no, about it, I we do. don't. Yeah. It's literally, I mean, Emily can tell you, Emily knows more about me than anyone. It's truly just, I'm this nuts. I'm just, I, I like, I know, I wish I could say like, you guys, I had a bad run with whiskey <laughs> and that's over and I'm back on the wagon. My, my thing is like, how do I, I wish I could say like, well, that addiction's over. I'm like, nope, this is still just my personality. Oh my um, God. Uh, but uh, yeah, wait, so you weren't like, I was, on anything completely sober? I got sober. really paranoid. I got really paranoid uh, because it was a kind of pain where you uh, like, I felt like I was like fighting for my life. It wasn't like, I'm just gonna, I'm definitely gonna survive this and I'm just gonna like, Watch this was your, Shits Creek and like get in bed and like have a couple sick days. I get psyched when you have. This uh, was during COVID, right? When this, you had COVID. This is when I had COVID. Yeah. Oh. Yes. But, but normally it's just like I have the flu. I'm gonna, I'm being sick or I can work through it or whatever. Oh this was a type of sick where I was like, I was like making plans. I was like calling. I was like, J -j -j like I need to put a will together. I was like making plans for oh, who what? was gonna inherit my house. Like I, that's how like fight or flight it got for me no way because it was a type of like pain that was like 
it was like um uh, a ghost was like beating me up. No way! Do you know what I mean? Like I was just like oh, like it was like. <laughs> did you see the Invisible Man? With, um, I did. I did. You yeah, should do just a video like, for that. You just getting from? like knocked across oh. the room. That was yes. It was like it was like that because just there you I I don't know what happened with you, but I it wasn't like okay my stomach hurts and it's gonna. It was like this rib hurts and then it was like this knee like i it felt like you're just getting shot no way was that what you had emily i had like i said this like uh i felt like you know how you clip in and out of a bike or like as someone puts a cigarette out you like twist your foot mm. i felt like someone was doing that all over my body mm. putting cigarettes out on uh, you like wow. not Holy. the burning but just the physical motion. and you didn't like that that's not a thing <laughs> a little well, nice little wait only like on my <laughs> sounds amazing but just like a, it were, they were twinges. They were like sporadic twinges. Yeah. Okay, so I want to talk about this because you... Wait, wait, wait. First, sorry to cut you off. How, how did, Why did how... she get shot? Because you don't do it to guess. Oh. How, how did you hit your nose? Oh, shit. Sorry. Okay, because yes, this is... Okay, so... And here's what I'll say. I just want everyone to know, I do not lie. If I lie, it's an accident. Okay. I just forgot and, and just got confused. But, so, I, I it's going to sound like... A lot of the things that happen to me sound like lies... Cause, but why but would this I, is just your life but the problem is, is so fascinating it's like the thing when people like always thought i lied about my age and my thing was like i didn't the reason the only way i can get you to believe me is to just know that why would i make up that age i would never mm -hmm. get away with it so no if i was gonna <laughs> lie I'd, I'd give myself a little wiggle room like, yeah. um so i am in bed like in pain what time is it pain, <sighs> yeah pain four pain. in the morning oh, okay oh love that four in the morning and i couldn't sleep i was I'm gonna. Even, I snorted a Lunesta. What is the that? What, what is a Lunesta? A doctor Lunesta? told me to do this. It's a sleeping pill. <laughs> you don't have trouble sleeping. Wait, so did nice. you crush it yourself? No, just... I crushed it. The, 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 finally, the doctor was like, because I couldn't keep it down. I couldn't keep a painkiller down. You used like a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> I can't sleep. I... <laughs> you snorted. Do you think I would know how to get cash myself? Um, Wait, so so you crush what? it up yourself and just? I, no, so I crushed it up with a spoon and was like snorting <laughs> Lunesta. I snorted a Percocet. I was, is this crazy? <laughs> we are not. I, we are, I'm so glad we so circled you back. So you want to be a in this business, <laughs> do ya? We are not endorsing this behavior. Look, this is this is the a self craziest. help podcast, and I am a self help authority. I'm an authority <laughs> on all things health. Me and Joe Rogan are real doctors. Listen to us. Yes. So I swear, and I so it was like. I snorted a Lunesta and a Percocet. I also <laughs> ordered this weed. I was in so much pain, all bets were. I'm surprised more people aren't dying from overdosing on on drugs, trying to stop the pain. Jesus. Yeah, um, I, I, I was I was taking like four Advils a day, too. Well, but not, not nothing compared to what, what you is did. That? Okay, so but nothing. It was still, it was so, so you don't take my sorry, regular yeah, morning. So, to me, so you but. were taking placebo sugar. <laughs> so you like candy? Okay, great. <laughs> like what? Like Advil, what's an Advil? Like, what I take four Advil every morning when I'm feeling yeah, good. Yeah, what are you talking about? She's like every morning just to get out of bed. <laughs> I, take, shoot yeah, it. I take four Advil a day just for this. I take it because I'm 36. You're like, I drink. <laughs> <laughs> like, I drink the liquid gel to hydrate myself. <laughs> um, and so, okay, so I'm staying in a different house because my house is being renovated. And I I do not understand the, the, the way people design their homes. Every home I go into, I'm like, this house makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, I, I, I feel ever, that way I've too. I've never been into a house where I thought anything made sense, which is mm -hmm. obviously my fault. Everyone's got their own thing. I'm sure people come to my house and like this. Literally, there's by the bed. There's the coffee table by the master is about the size of this table, right? It's like a it's like a coffee table. Yeah, that's crazy. Side yeah. side tables are side. They're supposed right. to be small with a little drawer. Mm -hmm. Put your yeah, little it's a dining room table. Yeah. Wow. Put your whatever your suicide note in there. Your lube, whatever you keep in the side of your thing. Whatever. The polar opposites yeah. of what you just said to the lube. <laughs> I don't yeah. know tissues and whatever you keep by there. You know your your Alec Baldwin autobiography. Whatever you have by your bed. You know <laughs> whatever normal, you want to snore. Stuff, the normal stuff that everybody has by their bed, right? Um, and so uh, uh, I was so cold. I don't know when you had COVID, were you just? I was freezing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, had chills, I was too terrible chills. Yeah, the chills. Like I was just like so cold, and I woke up, and I was just like so cold. I was I started getting angry too. Like, like oh, I had severe frustration too. Until I started crying, I was like, "What are my body aches gonna go away?" And I yeah. just started shooting tears out of my eyes. I was just so sad. 
<laughs> You're like an actual <laughs> meme. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what it. Those <laughs> cartoons. Yeah. But it, it it's a thing where it's like because there's no if it's someone so irritating. Just, if someone yeah. just said you're gonna be sick for ten days, mm-hmm. it's gonna suck, and I'm like great. And everyone was having the same thing. Because mm-hmm. then you get in this like, well, she only had it for two days. Am I making this up? Am I being histrionic? Is this as bad? Like, I started, it became like being in a haunted house with my own mind. Like, mm-hmm. it got into like, maybe I'm not this sick. Maybe I'm making it up. Maybe I am being dramatic. I don't know. Because then it's like, you think it's your fault if it's worse. Yeah. Because people go, well, what did you do to make it worse? On What's your blood type? I but know. No, it's not yeah, worse. That- even set in stone, is that an actual thing? Yeah. Yeah, like I failed somehow because my COVID's really bad. And it's just as like, it's just like embarrassing and people feel too sorry for you. So you don't even want to tell them. And then also when you tell someone you had it, they don't, they, it doesn't make them feel better. Yeah. It's like about being antibodies around you. even a real thing. Yeah. Cause, but, yeah. They, but they're like, I got, you know, everyone's like, you got the antibodies. And then when you have them, no one's like, we well, got the antibodies. Someone's like, oh, you had COVID. I know. It doesn't help. It, doesn't. it really doesn't. Saying I had COVID, I'm safe, does not make people feel more safe. Absolutely not. So how did you hit the wall? Oh, God. <laughs> um, so, oh, my God. She's, like, had it with me. No, so, I'm just so curious. Ca- this story keeps getting, like, crazier and crazier. It's amazing. <laughs> so, the people want to know. I should not have a podcast. I cannot keep staying on top of for more than five minutes. Like, why am I doing this? I'm so bad at this job. It's wild. Oh, no, this, this is this why is, you have a podcast. This is it's what a amazing. Podcast is, right? You yes. just, like, go it's on. It's a conversation. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so on. But I know what it's like to be on a podcast and the host being like, go back to that thing. I want to enjoy this, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to hear the end of the story. I, do I get to have any say in how this goes? I know. Um, okay, so middle of the night, I got a space heater <laughs> off fucking Amazon. I'm so cold. <laughs> the night before, the put the space heater in. Uh, 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 it was, like, under the table, and it wasn't – I kept turning it on. It wasn't plugged in, and I was like, ugh. And I bent over to plug it in. The only reason we know this is because there's blood on the table. We found that later. I thought I walked into a beam. And so uh, we found it later. I slammed my nose – Trying to, so you I slammed. Down. It was literally just like I just was like, <laughs> is what, what must have happened? Because there's just like a blood on the you know, thing. And uh, uh, I went back to bed. That's how fucking high I was. And then uh, my lover said at six in the morning. I crawled into his room like so dramatic, like crawling out of there because I I felt dried blood on my face because I always put oil on my face. Like the first thing when I wake up is grapeseed oil on my face and I was like I felt crustiness and this is how <laughs> sick I am at first I was like why is my skin so dry and then I looked in the mirror and was like oh thank god it's just blood <laughs> oh my gosh you're like well at least I'm moisturized oh my god it's just dried blood okay Whew. oh god I was worried that I was dehydrated there for a second I saw a crow's oh foot start to form my gosh yeah. so what made you think that you <laughs> ran into a beam because in this house, there's a beam. You're tall, which I have questions about. How tall, how sh- young were you when you got this tall? Oh, I was pretty young. It's a, tr- it's a kind of trauma. Yeah, I, it, yeah. and then I, I was very skinny. I think I was 5'10", 90 pounds. That is really traumatic. Oh, wow. That 90 so pounds in middle school, in like seventh grade. Wow. Yeah. Is that why you like like to work out and get so strong? Um, I think, uh, I think that's... I mean, I've always grown up very athletic. I have always had this kind of energy that I need release. So I've always been in sports. And um, like, I think you should be the Wonder Woman. Oh my God. Don't you so think? sweet of you. But I was also, I also played volleyball in college mm-hmm. too. So, oh. so that, that's what that is. I do now work out once a month. Not a lot. Uh, what, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you bank it and then post it in your store? Okay, maybe yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, I, maybe I that's it. Recycle, recycle I, the see, content. I think that's what I think is important to know. Like, I will, when people say, like, this is an unrealistic expectation, of my life, too. <laughs> yeah. well, like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, this mm-hmm. isn't, like, this is what bums me. It's like, are we supposed to be balancing out the unrealistic with the realistic? Or, right. This is what I'm, I'm. How do people I'm, have time? How, do, how, how are people able to wake up so early? I'm presenting the best version of yeah. this. The, the version I want you. I'm curating a version <laughs> yeah. that isn't embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Like, why is that? Why aren't people like, you need to embarrass yourself on social media and you need to reveal all your secrets and you need to tell everyone you were molested and post photos of you without makeup. Like, what? no, I signed up for a business where you go, you they make you look the best you've ever looked. Mm-hmm. That's what people see. And then people don't see the other stuff. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, it's it's hard. It's hard waking up in the morning, working out, having sweat in your hair. You have to shower. You have to wait for your hair to dry, and then put on hair and makeup and yeah. try to figure out this this mess. Yeah, but it's a like lot. yeah, it's like I don't know. It's just like it's just creating an unrealistic standard of. 
well, th- if I didn't look like this, you wouldn't follow me. So what, what are we doing? I, yeah, if I, I didn't know, wear all this I makeup, you, you like the, you like me doing the makeup. So what is it? Which is it? I don't I know. know. What it is. Yikes! Yeah. What do you, you want? Have, you have to balance so much pressure. I feel like you. Do you feel pressure to be a role model? Um. Yeah, I do. Um. I. I you definitely should. Good. Feel, <laughs> I think you. I definitely feel I just want you to know to do everything. Yeah, like there's I bet. so many platforms. There's so many videos. There's there's so much more I could be doing at all times. I'm sure maybe you feel that way too. But I think it's just. You know the business that we're in it's so just you a do have this because it does like i think that like i realized that um i almost preferred the fucked up dysfunctional system of uh <laughs> hollywood television because at least like you couldn't work unless you were at work right whereas now i can't imagine like like being 29 and being able to like make something at any point and upload it because as, as for me as like in my like workaholism and my like desire to overcome and make it like the only thing that stopped me from like having a full like heart attack or major health crisis or like just not taking care of myself <laughs> and like destroying myself and probably like an Adderall addiction in my 20s was me going like well I have to go to bed now because I can't shoot anything because I don't Right. The camera people are at a building tomorrow that I have to go to. Exactly. I have to wait till they're there. It's it's all consistency and motivation. That's that's what it comes down to. So what do you do? Did you just teach yourself to edit? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm self-taught 100%. Uh, Because I, I went to school for, for pre-med and then I, I kind of just fell into What kind of med videos. did you think you wanted to do? Um, I, I was going to go into surgery. I wanted to be a surgeon. That's what editing is. Pretty much. I know, it, yeah, you're right. You're honest. You're freaking smart. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, but it is. It is. It's dissecting. Well, editing. Rearranging. You, editing used to, I don't know what kind of surgery you were doing. <laughs> you know, surgery. Just, you don't move like, things this. from the yeah. front. <laughs> where you're going to be a plastic surgeon. Just, just put like this boop, here. Boop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna um, see what this intestine looks like. <laughs> yeah, I think this looks better there. The like game of operations. Aesthetically, I like this better. <laughs> oh, I know you like your it's lungs like, there, but it just looks so much better. Just let me go. Just like, hear me out. Just hear me out. So, Emily, have you um, seen any balls recently? You know what? I have not seen balls since I got broken up with. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next one. Now time. you're just bragging. <laughs> I've seen a actually, lot of balls since actually, you went through your breakup. I told you that that crazy man in my apartment tried to shoot me with a crossbow, came out butt naked. <laughs> That's the first pair of balls I saw. Tried to shoot you with a crossbow. Yeah, me and four police officers in a uh, in an elevator. So the takeaway from this story is if that man had just used Manscaped on his balls, you would have been, you would not have had a problem with this behavior. Right, it would have been a more pleasant first ball sighting post my relationship. It would have been a more pleasant attack <laughs> on me. <laughs> It would have been more aesthetically pleasing. If you pleasing. guys are going to attack women in a hallway <laughs> with a sword, what was it? A, a, a crossbow. You got to shave your balls first <laughs> or else they'll think you're crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? You got to use it's the thoughtful. crop mop ball wipes. These are deodorizing ball wipes that, you know what? I did not put a, I'm going to use on my armpits right now and we'll see how they how it goes. Oh, great. <laughs> They're deodorizing, moisturizing, and anti-chafing for on-the-go ball care. <gasps> oh, how's it feel? It's pretty soft. Here's what I'm saying. Normally, when you use a man's oh, products, nice. they're not good. Right. They're like they're rough. They're they're coarse. No one put any thought into it. But I Manscaped, think... they're making like quality products for men. They realize men, there's been a reckoning, uh-huh. and women no longer want rug burn on our chins. Um, we have to go to work now. This... So you have to pull your balls together. This... Emily, you're smelling that. This it's just in my good. armpits, though. Oh. God. <laughs> the bigger problem <laughs> but it smells like a boyfriend Aww. so uh be- wait were we doing the betterhelp.com ad what, you- <laughs> no this is for manscape <laughs> okay got it okay they- so yes go please yeah they have tons of amazing men hygiene products on their website everything from disposable mats for your pubes to Dude, foot deodorant and i'm sorry am i getting in trouble for saying this is not just for guys this thing, the look at this. It's oh, a, what do you so call nice. that? It's a like a portable get, dop kit. It's a, do, a it's tiny all dop the kit. stuff you need for your nails in one place. That's which great. I first had a problem with because I've seen enough men cut their nails on a plane while we're flying. No please fly list. Don't please don't do that. Um, but this is uh, yeah, men having portable nail clippers. This is gonna end win up win for everyone. Backfiring. Oh, uh, on a plane. Oh, but what? Yeah. yeah. 
just because guys think they should just right, 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 right. cut their toenails like right. uh, near sinks. Right. The guy I'm dating put his foot up on, the, I was like, can you do that in a sink? Like just, uh, oh. or a toy. I walk in, his foot's up on the kitchen sink. I'm like, dude, not that I ever go near that sink, <laughs> but I'm sure that's gross for someone that will. 100%. Crop Reviver is spray on toner for your balls. Yes, please. Toner's great for yes, skin. Yes, please. Yeah. And balls all look like they're 100 years old for mm -hmm. some reason. They mm -hmm. need this. They yeah. age. They look yeah. like like dried apricots, yep. elephant ears. Yep. Yep. Not anymore. Not Crop anymore. Crop cleanser, hair and body wash. Yes, Love it. please. So 20% off with sh free shipping at manscaped.com oh, and use dear. code Whitney. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code Whitney. Thanks, Manscaped, for making our winter wieners look so good. Honestly, I I'll apply it if you guys will start using it. I will Where volunteer. Where are you going to put it on your... To you them, no. Oh, to I them. Will apply oh, my God. It. That's how we need to start selling this. I'll set up He's a different done. email for that. I will... Is if you, I'll apply it if you use it. How okay. about that? Uh, and then I'm going to need a new job. <laughs> so, okay. Um, Manscaped. Thank you. I am truly obsessed with the um, Olipop drinks. Okay. When you guys look at our t podcast table and see the 900 just cans of trash mm -hmm. that it just looks like a mm -hmm. yard sale in here mm -hmm. it's because i got obsessed with olipop it is a supports digest it's a so it's like a healthy soda the only thing i've ever wanted in life okay. a soda that doesn't make you feel like shit and make you feel bad about yourself mm -hmm. it's an alternative to soda it tastes like a Coke or whatever, or like they've got all these like vintage flavors. Where's the strawberry? Did I drink it? Oh, fuck. There's a cream strawberry flavor that I, oh, I think I drank it already. Um, but it's got only three grams of sugar, non-GMO, vegan, paleo, keto friendly, less than eight grams net carbs per can. Wowza. Now what? What? Wowza. Like wowza. wowza. Like you, I mean, I know you like to like, get into your shame spirals mm -hmm. with your regular sodas oh my God, yeah. that have proven to give people numerous uh, health problems. Uh -huh. So which one do you want to try? Do you want to try the vintage cola? Yeah, I want to try vintage cola. I'm going to have Emily try one. Okay. I'm um, very excited. The ginger lemon, this is the sparkling tonic that is, sometimes I'll put a little, little drink in here. here. I go. Do you know what I mean? All right, Emily's trying her first Olipop. It's a 100% money back guarantee for orders placed through. That's good. It's good, right? Hold That's on. I really want to try good. that. I have the root beer one. It tastes like I'm at the soda shop. I, it does. It tastes like you're down at the getting a phosphate. I love it. You what know? a healthy alternative. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, I feel like as an adult, I can't just be pounding soda anymore. Yeah, I and used this, to drink so much soda, but this is do. I still do. But this would be a much better option. I mean, look how much. Look at the. Whoa! The, it's so much less calories. By the way, the, but the root beer. This truly tastes exactly like root beer. I can't. Well, can we try? I you mean, don't like root beer? No, I do like root beer, root but beer's weird. But germs wise i'm not oh, sure no, i'm not offering it to you oh i was gonna ask if i no, could have a sip. i'm okay, not okay, you okay. can't share okay. sodas in a pandemic i'm uh, okay. pretty sure okay all right i'm sorry it's okay. I thought we, both we, were had COVID. we both had covid <laughs> thought we were a pod <laughs> no we're a podcast <laughs> but okay but i like it so here's the thing everyone's home like ugh, i don't know i just feel like you have to make what used to be very mundane tasks special because mm -hmm. we have so few special things we can do right now. You deserve a little treat. Treat yourself. Yeah. You know, get yourself a fancy soda that makes you feel special and like you're um, uh, a woman that wasn't allowed to work in the 50s. Oh, it was it. so much easier back then. That's what I'm aiming for now. <laughs> no pressure of, um, of your career goals. Olipop is so confident that you will love their products that they offer a 100% money back guarantee for orders placed through their website. Oh. We've worked out an exclusive deal for the Good For You podcast listeners. Receive 20% off plus free shipping on their best selling variety pack. This is a great way to try all of their delicious flavors. Go to drinkolipop.com slash Whitney or <laughs> Or use Whitney at checkout to claim this deal. That's D R I N K O L I P O P dot com slash Whitney. This discount is valid only for their variety pack. This is Olipop. just so they put me on the screen too while you're talking. Okay, well, we don't. Do I we... know how to not let you take over and steal my thunder. I know. It's, we're working on it. If you guys are watching, uh, I'm doing things to. Just take my moment. Is yes, what it, take is her what it is. screen time. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Olipop can also be found in over 3,000 stores across the country, including Whole Foods, Sprouts, Kroger, Wegman, and Air One. I get why people heckle. It's so tempting. Yeah, it is. And it's also hurtful. <laughs> I'm just 
just sitting here like, <laughs> yes, like I lot. could never go to a comedy show. I don't know how people. When I get mad at people and they heckle, I now I'm not mad anymore. I'm sorry. Yeah, that people didn't let you talk for an hour. Yeah, it's awful. Well, like when I when so next time, boring. When I go to one of your spe- next shows, I'm just gonna sit in the audience and mouth what you're saying. <laughs> Is that me laughing at my yeah, own jokes? that's you right now. <laughs> is there ever a time where you're like, I'm maturing or like I, my taste is changing and I want to like, is my, do I have to stay this Absolutely. Thing? I think evolving is such an important part of, you know, just in the comedy business for you probably and also in the internet. They don't let us, we just get old and they uh, forget about us. No. We don't, we have, we've never done that before. I can't wait to see what you, what, what this looks like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I feel like, yeah, the, there is something called fan fatigue. So if they see the same thing over and over, it's not going to perform as well. So you always have to be evolving. Yeah. Um, but I think in my case, um, I was raised, you know, to be competitive in sports and then double major. And that's all I knew. Yeah. I didn't really have a social life. I, I went to college, but I didn't have a social life. And I was up at f- 5 a.m. to do... Um, 6 a.m. practice, and then I was in labs volleyball. all day. Yeah, for volleyball. In labs all day, I had my game. Then at 11.30 p.m., I'm culturing my stem cells in the lab. Like, I, I just had no life at all. So I think because I was I raised... on the internet and I know. put on my face with but a gym roller? I think just the life that I, I was raised into, I don't know what else to do except to work hard. But and this is what I was just having this conversation with Bendon, too, about... about Another thing, which is like, but there's nothing you've done that per, like prepares you that anyone's done for being in charge of people. Mm-hmm. How are you, but, but sports? I think people a lot of times don't understand like like when they're like, I'm gonna be a creator, I'm gonna be a boss, and I'm gonna be this. It's like, okay, well, do you know how to deal with someone who's mad at you, but not be bitchy and not be passive aggressive and not be like, okay, well. I thought you want me to do this tomorrow. And like, you can't do that. Yeah. Like, there's a level of, like, you can edit, you can write, you can be a comedian, you can do this, and I can, but. Just no, gauging no, different nothing, people's personalities. No, but too you're the leader. To, it's, yeah. like, it's like no one prepares you for that. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I guess you must have gotten it from playing sports because you have to communicate and you have to, like, play Having well. Having your them. coaches yell at you and then, like, trying to pick up your teammates. Absolutely. And you have to know how to talk to people for 10 hours a day in the same tight space. Mm-hmm. Well, this is, goes back, you just have to be a good person. It is, yeah. It it's is survival true. of the nicest now. You have to now. <laughs> it used to be you had to be talented. At first, it was nice guys finish last. Now I think, yeah, you just have to be nice. There's, you have to be a genuine person. And yeah, Absolutely. and if you're not like, it's just like your stuff's not going to be good either. Because I think right now people don't want negative, toxic shit. They any, can't, yeah. You know, but but I just I think that that's promising. I think like the internet, like in a lot of ways, people are like this is like the worst, and it's bringing out all the trolls. And I think it's actually like. You know, shedding light and and adding jokes, and that's what you're so amazing at too. It's almost like we're providing, almost like free laughs to everybody. Yeah, and well, hoping... I charge. I don't know. Another <laughs> ticket prices are going up. Uh, they're going up. But, but uh, still, just preparing you guys for that. <laughs> but still, but still, I I think that um in this time that wins in a time of such negativity, I think it is so important to produce laughs to to our fans and hopefully. Make this world a better place. I mean, yeah. I mean, and so what um, would you say, um, before we get into this other thing, um, uh, our surprise uh, event for the show, what? which is me getting tetanus uh, from Hannah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tana's a, what would you call it? Extreme tattoos? What is it that you do? Okay, so at the start of quarantine, <laughs> um, I, I went through a rampage of different quarantine purchases. Uh-huh. I bought a stripper pole. Uh-huh. Um... A lot of other random things, mm-hmm. lightsaber chopsticks. Cute. Um, I mean, where's the lightsaber stripper pole? <laughs> I mean, oh, you're onto something. Call Shark Tank. <laughs> and then I invited a, you here today to start a business. Yes, <laughs> we are not leaving here today until something. we have started a business. Yes, and then also a tattoo gun. Then I just started tattooing myself. And then uh-huh. I tried tattooing my dad. He didn't. He wasn't for it. And now a it lot of my smart. friends are are just. Yo, like I have, I have like fifty friends being like on the wait list just to get a tattoo from me. Okay, so you, this is like a you just started doing this. Not a this is not like a thing you've been doing a while. I think I've tattooed like fifty people though. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're I'm gonna get a uh, a tattoo today from Hannah. Are you actually? <laughs> 
you? I don't know. Well, okay, let's let's, let's see. Uh, uh, yes, She's if I don't so start excited. hemorrhaging, I don't know. I might be, who knows, with my COVID blood, things might go sideways. <laughs> Do I need to have had a tetanus shot? I feel like I've had one. No, I had one in 2018. Okay, yeah. Like, well, I'm also using a sterilized needle. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Should be yes. good. Yeah. No, I should clean off the look, surface. There. Look, <laughs> honestly, after what just happened with COVID, I am. If I didn't just die in the last couple months, I'm invincible. As far like, as I'm concerned. Life is a simulation. So right wait. Now. So this is just a tattoo gun you've got. Uh, what do I do? Yeah. Oh, we're, I'm definitely gonna want. I want to do uh, Emily's name on my foot. <laughs> And then, wh where do you? What's the where? What? What's your specialty? My specialty is like a smiley face on the bottom of the foot. Oh, that's like a no-brainer. Sure, yeah. Yeah, and it's oh, quick too. I, huh? I, I, even boom. I would do that. Like, okay, yeah. yeah. The foot. It's yeah. gonna tickle though. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my God. I was I wanted to do like a thing back here. Okay. We'll I, I tattooed somebody's neck yesterday, actually. Wait, really? you out of this sleeve. Huh? <laughs> Wait, you want this sleeve? Oh, yeah, full imagine with like, shading. She's like, I don't want to. <laughs> but disclosure, I'm not a professional, and my friends are idiots. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> not a professional. I have health insurance. My friends are idiots. I and got this I want to die young. I got this on Amazon. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> For our listeners, Hannah is taking her tattoo kit out of a box. Mm -hmm. A clothing box. Uh, yeah, it's well, just, there's a pineapple sticker on it. Like, do you? This is like I do have I think questions a sweatshirt came in it. <laughs> about your. You have nine people working for you, and this is the box. Okay. No, it's fine. It's good. It's just like I we know. need staff of nine people, and this looks like a yard sale. Like this looks a yard sale. Yeah, like what is that blood? Like what is on this box? This champion box? Like, I don't even know what's I know. happening. Um, I, wanna, I want you to talk me. through setting this up, and I'm going to pee. Okay. Because I right. just got scared. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just shitting. So, just pooping. I've soiled myself. Yeah. <laughs> I've soiled myself. <laughs> like, as if there's no backing out now. <laughs> okay, so I am okay. lugging this guy in. Let me move my this. This is tattoo paper. I'm going to pee. So, do you What's want... tattoo paper? Um, where I... Um, I draw it out and then I just it's like a tracing paper just that I free put brawl it. Free ball it? Are you are you What do you mean sure? tracing out? Trace what out if it goes Emily's. Like, dun, dun, dun. Emily's a pussy. She you trace hers out. You know you trace mine. Okay. Oh know. wow, this is exciting. That's I have sick. tattoos. My tattoos are white mostly. What? So I have one right here. <gasps> wow. You can do with white ink. Yeah. That's a little anchor. I, I have some... white because I was like very non committal. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. like and I told the guy that I'm dating about this. And I was like, no, I'm not afraid of commitment. My tattoos are just white. Um, I want them to be there. I just don't want to. I just don't want to like have to see them all the time. It's like, well, that's the point of tattoo. That, that's why I got this my my inner lip before I got any tattoo. Not the natural. Not not the response I was expecting. Yeah. Wait. So this is. It was like an infinity sign. Hold on. No, I see. Just because of commitment Let me see issues. You. Yeah. But what you, but you thought putting it on your lip was less of a commitment than where? Then on a, my body, so oh, nobody can big. see it. Yeah. I don't, okay, okay, yeah, it's yeah. It's faded. It, it didn't That's hurt. I, I just had uh, chips and salsa right afterwards. So. I, my Ooh. first tattoo would not be. <laughs> I know. Here's the inside <laughs> of my You're mouth. Drooling. I know. You're like, I'm not. I'm. I, I like. I'm kind of not into tattoos, so I put one in my face. Yeah. Like that's a, that's such a cute little hiding place. So invasive. I know. I would not have thought I'm gonna hide this in plain sight on my face. I know. Face. The only like guys that but really see it is my dentist. So. But isn't that? <laughs> I was gonna say it's annoying. It's anno When you have tattoos, I find that I have to lie about my tattoos because I just don't want to tell the same story over and over again. Uh huh. So people be like, "Do you have any t tattoos?" I'm like, "No, it's f like I just don't." <gasps> but you and I don't want to have to show them because mm -hmm. as soon as someone wants to see your tattoo, you then have to be like. Okay, take your shirt. It's like, why do I owe you the, all this information right. about How it? How many do you have? Can I see I all of them? Ugh. Yeah. No, and then it's just sort of like, why am I? And then you have to be like, there's my lip. You have to like touch. And then take off my shoes. Yes. But I, I do that willingly. But though. just like, <laughs> like, my thing is just like, you don't get to see my tattoos. Like, like. I know. It's like someone's be like, can I just see your tits? And it's like, sure. <laughs> but there's something about it. Like when someone wants to see your tattoos, you're like, oh, fair enough. <laughs> but I'm so excited because I'm about to tattoo you oh right now. God. Is this actually happening? <laughs> this is, this is, how long does it, like, first of all, don't you have to shave the area that you tattoo? But are we doing the bottom of your foot? Unless you're Frodo, I think you're good. Yeah, your feet look fine. My feet look fine, but d there is like... Do you ever like get a one random black hair like on your ankle? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I uh, I don't know about 
that one. No, I do. I do. I do. That's a needle. Toe. That's a real needle. That's yeah. a real Sterile. needle. It's a real needle. Guys. Look at that. We are that's getting a, real that's a longer here. needle than I've ever seen at a tattoo da, da, store. Da, 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 da. That's good. Good. that's longer than most of them, Hannah. <laughs> no. That's not a needle. That's a dagger. <laughs> that is an actual dagger. That is a ninja star. She's pulling out a ninja star. <laughs> Um, a rusty you... ninja star. I mean, this is. I, do, uh, do the antibodies protect from tetanus? Yeah, I read that somewhere. <laughs> uh, I'm in a COVID fog. <laughs> I want you to know that Hannah's taking advantage of my COVID fog. Yes. <laughs> She's like, I am we, so excited. Can we get in there before Whitney's brain clears up <laughs> and she starts making good decisions again? By the okay. way, imagine when I get back and I dye my hair back and everyone's like, what happened? It's like, I had COVID. <laughs> And, but and people are gonna understand. I know. Gonna be like, okay, yeah, yeah, I had COVID. I guess I like. Are you doing any more hair colors? I don't know. I might. I I feel like I'm I'm at, I'm. It's getting a little bit like people are starting to get worried about me. <laughs> you can only do blue hair for so. Like I, now, it's like it's like I did pink for a month. I did blue for a month. Now it's time to get back to being an adult. But now like, you're 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 blue and purple. Maybe you just even write better, it out. Can you I go do, the fact that I didn't the know that is a bigger problem. What you didn't know I was that? Like, I was like, I'm blue. I'm I don't even know what color my hair is at this point, which is a bigger issue. So yeah, it's I think mix. I need to get back to being an adult and, and go back to brown. No. Yeah, you could go full purple. No, it's here's the problem: is that number one, uh, I really liked it at the beginning because when you dye your hair fully pink, people stop asking you for advice and to like help <laughs> on anything. Like no one asks for your. In way, can you weigh in on this? Like everyone's Input like, on anything. don't ask her. Like if people don't ask you to people watch, people leave them, you alone. They don't ask you to watch their kids. They don't expect you to like respond to emails. I'm very ticklish. Do you have ever deal with people that are so ticklish that it? Yeah, and then I just scream and I'm like, don't move, <laughs> <laughs> or else it's gonna look like uh, you know that emoji that's like, and they're all like unsure and their mouth's like squiggly. <laughs> Somebody has. Yes, I, that, that's happened before. That's too, but if you see that you're fucking something up, do you just cover? Or you just like, I, I try to go you, over it thicker and just make it a little thicker. <laughs> but sometimes you will twitch okay. involuntarily. Should this camera come in? Oh, I guess I'm gonna go here. Okay. Is my foot <laughs> so gross? This is no, so really much more intimate bad. than like getting naked for a man. Like you see oh my, my foot. Oh my gosh. I'm so much more embarrassed about you're, it. You're about to get so Wait, many points on wiki feet. What are you, I know, this better not ruin my wiki feet score. I feel like I have a five <laughs> wiki feet score, mostly because there aren't that many photos of my feet. You're five internet. out of five? This is, I'm five out of five on wiki feet. Me too. Yes. Yes. What size shoe are you? Eight and a half. Eight? Oh, you have small feet for your height. Mm -hmm. I, what are you? Uh, I'm a 10. Oh, okay. Wait, mm -hmm. how tall are you? 5'10". Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, we're you're, like... You're, I think we're the same height. You just... I, I wore you the haven't, shoes You haven't today. given up yet. I, I, so you wear heels. <laughs> I think yeah, we... Yeah, I wear... I wear... Yeah. Yeah, no, a you still... Thick boot. Thick yeah, with no, five I, C's. I'm getting a tattoo. Yes. Uh, from Hannah. And oh, what no. is it going to say? Is it going to say Emily and Whitney forever? <laughs> Emily and Whitney in a heart. Do you want that? E... <laughs> I mean, no, but it's funny. Or, or we could do the smiley face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, well, why don't you do the smiley face on Emily? I can't do it. Okay. Scared. You're scared? I'm scared. So E plus W heart. But I want the smiley face. Too. Let's do the smiley face. Smiley face. Let's do the smiley okay. face. And how long does it take to do those? We do um, one on each, I, might, I might go over it like twice. Okay. Or three times. Okay. It takes longer to do the sketching than the actual doing, right? While we're waiting for that, I would just like to say, Jen Aniston uh, wrote me back, uh, Hannah loves Jen Aniston, and we sent a video. She her. said she remembers me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my name is my name. Wow. <laughs> guys, if you guys don't know, she is literally my, um, <laughs> my back screen. <laughs> My phone screen. Holy cow. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> she literally, she said she remembered me. Yes. How do you feel about the fact that a lot of people feel about you the way you feel about Jen? Does that make you want to quit what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. Does this make you uncomfortable about being famous? Yes. Because yes. a lot of people. I feel bad for Jen. You're a lot of people's Jen Aniston. So I just want you to know how creepy your life is. But she just seems so put together. God, she's an actual icon. I guys, yeah, guys. But she but remembers me. We should do I love Jen on one and then the smiley face. And I will do that. I will literally tattoo that yes. on my forehead. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, hold on. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah! Ooh, ah! 
Why is the anticipation so much worse than actually doing it? Okay, I've gotten tattoos before. I'm an adult. I've just never gotten one on my foot. Be before. careful, because am the, I even able to walk the on my foot? Is here. Uh, yeah, I walked. I actually before COVID, after I got the hi, how are you on the bottom of my foot, I yeah. went out and I partied. Yeah, but you have joy in your heart. <laughs> you are a happy, resilient person. I'm hanging by a thread. Oh no, you'll be good. You'll be I good. I also have really high arches. So, so that's perfect. It's apparently it a won't, problem. It won't wear off. Okay. Yeah, it's a problem for me. Too. It's like a problem. But like it's I, great for uh, tattoos on the bottom. I'm supposed of your to wear insoles. I had bone spurs. And oh, me I too. Just, me too. And then I was like, whatever. I'd rather just be in pain than fucking have to go to this appointment. Ah! Barely did anything. Oh yeah, it doesn't really I hurt. Really okay. need a I lot turns more out ink. my entire body's numb. <laughs> I thought my. <laughs> Who knew? It's not just my. <laughs> Ooh, feels like um, it's kind of like what it feels like when you get an IUD put in. It's like a creepy kind of like nettlesome pain. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, she's very focused. You do take this very seriously. I'm, yeah, I'm trying. This is like really what you want to do with your <laughs> Imagine. life. Imagine. It's so weird. I, you're so successful at something. And she's like, you're like Michael Jordan playing baseball. She's like, but I just want to be a tattoo artist. Ah, ah. It's leaking a little bit, but it's okay. I'm just going to do a wipe down. This isn't what it actually Blood looks or like. Blood ink? Ink. Okay, thank you. Am I going leaking? It. That's called bleeding? <laughs> um, let me correct. Let me. No. Okay, let ready, me give you the proper term. Ah, uh, that's called bleeding. That's called a punctured artery in the foot. Oh gosh. I love that noise. It's such a sexy noise. It's such a soothing noise. You're like, ooh, the sound of bad decisions. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, ooh, thank you. Imagine this is what it looks like. <laughs> by the way, this is, by the way, guys, when you guys want to suck our feet, this is what we're doing, by the way. We're like, oh. Like you like it, and we have to just be like, ah, me, me, me. Okay. Um, that might not have stuck. Is that a frowny face? <laughs> Did you do the squiggle emoji? <laughs> no, we might. I might even wipe it off, and nothing stuck. I have a very light hand. I was gonna say, I, it's it doesn't hurt at all what you're doing, but maybe that means really. Should so go maybe in for, it's, I need to go all. in deeper. No, I feel it. I feel I it. I need to go in deeper. I do feel <laughs> it. I think I'm. I can't tell because I'm trying so hard to trick myself into not feeling it. I don't know if I'm succeeding or if it's just not deep enough. Okay. This we'll is go me deeper. sex all the time. I think I felt that. <laughs> Can you just do it again deeper? I just, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, nothing. Nothing? Well, a little bit, a little bit. Ah. We are getting there. Ah. Do you? It's I, gonna be cute. <gasps> oh, this is you, so cute. All you foot fetishes out there, I'm, I'm <laughs> doing this to send you a thumbs up. A lot of women don't. And a nice smiley face. A lot of women don't like men to fetishize their feet. I, I'll take the compliment. Yeah. I'll take it. I'm not going to reject a compliment, even if you're mentally ill when you're making it. Are you feeling that? Yeah, that definitely is deeper. Boop, a boop, boop, okay. This is really a sensation that is unfamiliar to me. Okay. You know what it is? It's just an unfamiliar kind of pain. It On the is. foot, it's it like is. it's like tickle pain, you know? You yeah. know when people are tickling you and you don't want them to tickle you, you know, and you're six and they're not related to you? Um, no, that's not, so I just mean like, you know when someone's the tickling you? you say. Oh my gosh, but it's just like you can never. But you know oh when someone's God. tickling you and it like hurts but you're laughing so they don't know to stop? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ooh. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah? I think we got it. You've had enough of smelling my foot. <laughs> She's like, I've had enough. I just it's passed over. out. I'm like, woo! I know, yeah. I did not think to like wash my feet. I, I, I thought we, I was going to do back like on my shoulder. Let me see. Uh oh. Oh, what? You just put it against the Did table. Did I fuck up? Oh, fuck. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> and that's your tattoo. <laughs> Did I? I mean, look, it is very uh, artsy. Oh, it is very, it's like a Moreau painting or like a Jackson Pollock. Da Vinci? It's, it's a Is that you? <laughs> Did I just fuck it up or no, it doesn't. I just got it all over the table. I do need to go over it again. We have to do something for Jen. We have to do it, Jen. If you're not, if you're not doing the bottom of your foot, I'll do the bottom of my other foot. Why don't we do... I need to go, it, unless you like it like this. 
I think we should go over it again. Okay. Okay. You're the bo- you're the expert. I can't see it. Wait, wait, can I? Um, yeah, I can't even see it. I trust you for okay. some reason. I know. For, by the way, I know it's weird. I really like her and we're like old new friends. You're a stranger to me. I mean, I don't really know you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wild. Wild. And I'm marking you for life. For life. I, it'll fade. Doesn't it fade on the bottom? I love that you're like, it's fine. It's fine. When you guys have your epic public falling out, it'll fade. <laughs> Don't worry. Get it covered. Don't worry. Ah! <laughs> okay, I think, I think, and I, I know I say that every time, but I think that's gonna no, be good. No, good. You never know. Art is never done, only abandoned. Art. Who said that? Leonardo da Vinci, I think. N- Michelangelo, sorry. Michelangelo. But you didn't know either, so. Okay, mm-hmm. here we go. Ah. What's that, Woo! water? <laughs> Looks good, ladies and gentlemen. Look we at that happy foot. We don't see gender here. Happy um, feet. Co- yeah. I mean, my feet are so disgusting. <laughs> Maybe this is like helping with a healing, like me embracing my f- <gasps> ugly feet. That's so cute. It's so cute. Kiss it. I'm kidding. Uh, put it in your mouth. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, let me see it. it. No, 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 kiss it. Do a selfie with it. Kidding. Do you like it? Yes. Sorry, I do you want to look at them. Really, do you're you want to look me it. to go over it? I think I should. <laughs> really? One yeah. More? There's there's one part it's that's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> She's like, you know what? It, it no, no, no. Here's what I'll say. The way someone drives, it uh, drives. Uh, 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 we're women. We can't drive. Um, uh, the, the, the way that a smiley face, the way that the eyes are separated makes him like, look so like happy. When I draw a smiley face, they look evil and lost and dangerous. <laughs> They're just, you I know draw it's the like, eyebrows like they, this? Yeah, the, when I draw a smiley face, they look like their eyebrows are furrowed. Like yeah. even the way you, or even just the eyes, like, like your circles are, ha- your little, like, like. It's just like a happy, happy face. My yeah. happy face, my happy faces look like they're faking it. This guy definitely has personality. My happy faces look like it's I'm Botox. I'm gonna go over it just two more times. Okay. There's just two more sections. <laughs> Have you, so the one on top of your foot, did that hurt like all fuck? Oh yeah. Ooh. And plus that was a cover up of another tattoo. Uh. <laughs> but I think cause it was a cover up, it, they like damaged the nerves on the first time so it didn't really hurt that bad. Oh, uh, it's just Army Hammer's <laughs> your- face. <laughs> Remove that tattoo. Ah! Oh, I got goo! Ah! Oh, because I get So basically, the more you're going over it, the more it's already wounded skin. Yeah. That's why it hurts more as you go on. Yeah. Got it. So you're basically jamming a needle into an open wound. Got it. I got it. I got it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There we go. Is it good? Yeah. Cute. You're good. Look at that. I mean, we've adorned the ugliest part of my body. I'm so, does this That's mean so I'm a partner in the brand? Yeah. Merch, like, so this is, so I just get like Extreme 20%. Tattoo 20% of yes. the company. I'm not like, I'm not doing this for fun. Yes, just slaying it. It's court um, like, customers. how would I not have been a partner? How would I not have been a partner in her merch company? Why would I have gotten a tattoo of it on? Oh, ha- uh, extreme she, tattoo merch would be she, cool. She told me verbally 50% of the company. Yeah. Um, okay, wait, let's do on this now, side. And let's do I Love Jen. Jennifer Aniston? Yeah. I want that on me. Well, bitch, you haven't done it. <laughs> and I'm, we're on my podcast I think, now. I so think we'll get, now what? we'll get this matching <laughs> tattoo. This might take a while, though. Like, it might, this, like, to do all that, it might take, like, 30 minutes. How about just okay. I Heart J? I Heart J. Okay. I'm fully getting an I Love Jennifer Aniston tattoo. And that's I'm just the best that. tattoo ever. I'm, gonna I'm probably going to go home and tattoo it on myself so we can match. <laughs> can you do your own foot? You yeah, have to be I your did, right I foot? I did my own foot. I, I tattooed that's crazy on my toes. Oh, God. It's all black and blue right now, but it's okay. That, ugh, what a nightmare. <laughs> I just feel like, yeah, that the toes would probably be super. Like, it's like, you know, when I derma roll, on the face, which is the thing with the tiny needles yeah. mm-hmm. to put the, make sure that all your product is absorbing your face. Over the lip is the worst. Like it's just so random where we have nerve okay, endings. <laughs> oh, does this one hurt more? Cause it's more like dead skin. Mm. Tattoo artists are so bomb because, and hot because you're, you're most nervous and you want to talk and make small talk and they won't. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's, I know. I but was, it's dope. Um, you can't. It's do. It's hot. Do it. I was. I was tattooing uh, this girl's neck last night, and I wasn't breathing. And after I would stop a stroke, I would be like, 
Oh, because you like didn't yeah. want to breathe down her neck or something? Or no, I just I like, feel yeah. like I'm more you're steady. In a zone. I'm more like I have a steadier hand. It's almost like uh, if you're playing Call of Duty and you're like doing like a sniper shot, and then the the character is like <gasps> after you you hit it because they like hold the breath. Do you guys? We haven't even talked about that. Do you guys that. play? You want to play tonight? I'll see you in the gulag. What does any of this mean? <laughs> Dave, do you play? What is what is she saying? Is she harassing you? Uh, no. What does that mean? What's the gulag? It's uh, where you go when you die. And, and I just in Call, play Call of Duty. Gulag, in Call yeah. of Duty. I'm not good at a uh, war zone at all, so I'm just gulag. But I do win a lot in gulag. Are you just doing this to just show people how shitty a girlfriend I am compared to you? <laughs> is this what this whole podcast is? I am doing this because I'm alone this and I need just... <laughs> friends. So these are like virtual friends I can just talk to. It's like, and so you've never met any of the people you game with in person? Oh no, I, I game I game with a lot of my guy friends, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's your, and this is on Twitch? Uh, it, it could be on Twitch if you want to stream it. Okay. However, you could just play and mm -hmm. not even stream it mm -hmm. just for fun mm -hmm. until 5 a.m. every night. You're very patient about uh, explaining this to me without having judgment in your voice. No, or, of or course exhaustion. not. exhaustion. <laughs> what happened to that? What, what, are, what Do you ever want to game live, like in stadiums? Oh, Can yeah, I that, that you? is a I, thing. I, I just have dollar signs in my eyes. I'm like, would you like to tour? Yeah. I'll book it. Like, I'm literally just. <laughs> well, I just created this game room in my house. And normal, well, normal gamers game rooms are like just very futuristic. And you should, space you should, can I tell you something? You should design arcades. I should because my game or my game room is literally Hannah, like Hannah, Cafe. The, the, the Hannah stocking <laughs> experience. The problem is Rainforest Cafes, they're really, really fun. But the water fucking stinks. Oh, like the, what? The, you ever notice that you go to Rainforest Cafe? Yeah, I did actually. And it's, it's like, just tap. When the water comes on, you're like, oh. Yeah. Like, is that sewage water? Like, what's the, is like. Is that mold? Yeah, it's like everyone's kind of, you can tell the waiters are bummed when the water goes off. They're just like, oh. The mist. The mist, yeah. yeah the, like, the waiters are just yeah. like uh, slipping on the floor. They're like, oh, enjoy your fucking potato skin. <laughs> like, it is like. And then every now and then when, when the uh, lightning would go off and the gorillas yeah, are like, no. Oh, my and God. Oh, and it's shit. funny. The waitresses. <laughs> They're like, just like, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> She's like, oh, God, hit in the face with a toucan again. <laughs> oh, what a fun. Welcome to Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. <laughs> just like, is it a teardrop or is it like a sewage droplet from the rain? Mm. This is so dumb. And I'm so into it. Dude, for me, this is, when else are we going to be able to do dumb like shit that's like reckless. I think the pandemic, let's take something good away from it, which is like that thing you've been putting off or that thing you're like, I can't do that. Just fucking, that's where my hair is purple and I'm getting foot tattoos. Who cares? And that's why I started tattooing. Who exactly. cares? Like, Who the, cares? Now live the life to your fullest. That thing, it, it's the uh, live like you're to die tomorrow because you fucking might. Like, what have you been not doing? Because you're like, I'll do that later in my life. I'll yeah, do that in my life. Yeah, you can't Just do it now for you the fuck to. of it. Mm -hmm. Like, do it this weekend. Mm hmm Because you don't know how long. Yeah, it's going to last. Way, you can always stop. You can't. That's <laughs> you can the always, beauty of it. You can always dye your hair back brown. People say, like, oh, your hair's blue now. I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm going to dye it. Yeah, just No, no, it, it doesn't stay permanent. You know how hair works. It's going to grow out. But tattoos They're are just like, permanent. So you have hair. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's a really good point. You guys, a tattoo is not permanent as a tattoo. Guys, I don't know the basic concept of a tattoo. <laughs> Does that hurt? Nope. It's a tiny pain. Okay, cool. It's a little baby pain. It's like a little toddler just like stabbing you with their baby knife. <laughs> I feel like you can't be mad. It's like a cute pain. Yeah. Hold on, move your foot like this. Oh. Wow. Just a lot of confidence. I am not Sorry, comfortable. My <laughs> Hold on, yeah. Why don't you? How oh, do you, here we go. Okay, here we yeah. Go. You're. F I'm fully making you, like, engage your core to do this. <laughs> Jen's gonna see this. Dude, when in doubt. By the way, she so wants to get this right. It's so sweet. When in doubt, do it for Jen. Who are your favorite tattoo artists? Um, there's this guy named um. Uh, Jack Townsend, who's really good, mm -hmm. and also this other guy, uh, N. Dot A. Dot L. He's really, really fire. Uh huh. Yeah. If you're, you have to be good to have that annoying of a name. 
You must be good <laughs> for people to say dot dot. Like you have well, to be. That's his Instagram name. I'm not really sure what no, his you, real name he's, is. He's the best tattoo artist. He must be because yeah, you can't have that name and not be and be like mediocre. Yeah. Um, uh, all right. The J did not stick at all. So <laughs> here we go. We will go again. J round two. We could also do Courtney or Lisa. Look at that. Let's see. Let's see. So how how hmm. did you and Jennifer Aniston meet? I'm just, she reached out and was like, I'm dying to be friends with you. You can't. Are you serious? No. Oh. I... <laughs> I, I found, I, I got a, I went and I bought a Star Maps, uh, drove to her house, and, um... So you sound like me. Yeah. Something I would do. Yeah, and they just, you know, it's usually through one of her security guards that I get a message. <laughs> the way they relay it, like, the she's court. so busy. She's just so Is busy. She's very order? busy. She's busy, and usually just the LAPD will deliver a message <laughs> from her to me. <laughs> To my home. It's titled Restraining Order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. She's saying, like, me, yeah. she wants, she's like, meet me downtown next week. And I'm like, cool. The courthouse. At this courthouse. Cool. We, she loves to hang out at the courthouse. Do you feel this? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm trying to like talk and like nervously distract myself, but that one's not bad. That's not bad. That's like a good pain. Okay. That hurts so good. Okay. Do not call me Army. Oh, she's always yeah. so she's always so shocked. This I is, am. This is, there's gonna be a point. She's so shocked when I like uh, say crazy shit. There will come a time in your life too where you stop giving a fuck. Yeah. It, it, like, will. and it, you, it's not now. You're it not is there not yet. now. And you're not, not there yet. Soon. I you're feel still, like yeah. Whatever you're saying. Uh, you still have a lot I, to build. I do. Don't throw it all away yet by saying the dumb shit I say. I know. That's not worth it. I know. Don't burn bridges the way and when, I. And when you say that stuff, I'm just like. I just like I'm. I'm literally got a backpack full of grenades, and I'm just like, I have been so beaten down by this business that I'm just like, like I'm just throwing grenades left and right. I love it, as you should though. I just don't even give a shit anymore. Um. Uh oh. Are uh -oh. you? <laughs> no. Is this not the big reveal? No. <laughs> And I don't even have a backup career. I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. You have like nine backup careers. <laughs> this, is, this will need a few more times to go over. Okay. We have a really good base layer though. Yeah. But that's like thicker skin on top. It is very thick. Thick with five C's. Uh -huh. But I think this is like, it's, you know, it's like shadowy. It has a really, really cute shadow undertone. And it kind of reminds me of your white tattoos. The ones that no one can see? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, do you want to reveal what you tattooed on me? Will, will you just break my foot I so I can... I, I can't know flex. if I want to. I can't. Because I still need to take a lot of the ink off. What does it look like? <laughs> what does it say? Is that like a dick? <laughs> uh, not a dick, a spaceship, we'll oh, call it. A, no, just... a spaceship with two engines. <laughs> yeah. Two engines so on either round. side. Okay, so what? Oh, no. No, bad? It's good. What? It will be good. Here's the what? thing. Am I going to get sued? You get worse before you get better. And gets, that's this. This is going to be great. That is the oh, worst before you get better. The only thing I don't want to hear from my tattoo artist. <laughs> I, I want to hear from like anyone else. Anyone but. Okay, wait. I'll take a picture. How's this? <laughs> no, also, I'm... not all the ink is off. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> it looks, it looks like. Like, um, it looks like I just lightly put pencil over. It just <laughs> looks like, um, um, it looks like, uh, <laughs> yeah, what is, it looks speechless. like, do you remember in True Detective when the serial killer carved into the tree? <laughs> it's kind of like that, uh, only on my body forever. Uh, no, this, this will, I, I genuinely think this will go away in like two days. No, I love it. I'm, dude, I'm, it's the bottom of my foot. Heck dude. yeah. I think it has a lot of personality. It's good. And then I've got this little guy. Oh yeah, this so one's cute. this one's a keeper. So dumb. Sure. That's so They're so cute. funny. Yeah, I, I normally it. like never let anyone see my feet, but now I'm going to start to just be proud. And I, yeah, I had really times. bad athlete's foot in high school when I played basketball. And it was like so embarrassing that I think I have like trauma around my feet being out. But not anymore. Lucky, your lucky day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks amazing. It's so, it's cute. so cute. I um, love it. All right. And while you're disassembling, I want to ask you a question. Oh, yeah. About like your future 
like looking for like do you want to be in movies and television or you're just like that's a waste of time i'm building I would, a business i would love that i i love that that realm you want to be I, less famous <laughs> i want to go to hollywood just to have less people I see do, what i do here's the thing i do think that there is a stigma uh between um traditional media there and is, internet yeah. media and i know there that is, but it's not that real it's we're jealous it, and we're jealous and we're maybe. mad but uh, I kind of like, I just want to mesh the two. I know like a few of my internet friends are doing a great job doing that, but I, I would love to be in traditional media. Don't really care what it pays, yeah. but I just want to be, you know, that internet person that helps blend. That's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should do a movie. You already could have done a movie. I mean, <laughs> like, but Jackass, like that was really like, they were kind of just like, they just scrambled it all together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You probably already have enough footage to put a movie together. I, yeah. Just compile it all yeah, together. Yeah, like a docu-series In like a or big something? like compilation video. I am in a, I am going to be in a movie though. It's coming out. Yeah? What movie? Uh, it's called um, Vanquisher. Cool. It's by, directed by George Gallo. Why are you so, you're like, I get, you have a little bit of like, Morgan Shine. Freeman's in it. You have like shyness around ah! it. I know. I just, I can't, I can't believe it. That's because you like, go in an audition or do they just give it to you? They, uh, um, they are really good friends with my mom. But let me ask you, do you, by the way, um, would you, uh, do you ever feel like when you get hired for something, they call you in and you're like, oh, they want me to post like something. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't say for that movie specifically, but yes, I have been hired on like if you could other things this, where, good. yeah, um, they're yeah, like, it, so like the social media, not not this project that I'm talking about, but like previous ones that I won't name. They yeah, yeah, yeah. have been like, okay, well, here's our socials. This is our at and our hashtag, like, please. And I'm just like, yeah, okay, I well, get it. Because I know like you're here today obviously so that I'll post about you. I know you're using me for my following. It's fine. <laughs> I'm fine with it. You're a hustler. It's a collective this friendship. Is, look. <laughs> it's like, friendship. You get more out of this than I do and that's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm a giver. I want to support the next generation of women in comedy. Yes. Whatever I can do to help you boost your numbers. Hey, yes. <laughs> like, in my future uh, comedy stand-up shows. Because there's also this weird thing that I think is important to say that out loud. Like, because it doesn't occur, this, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go on a rant. Everyone just settle in. Uh, get cozy, okay. uh, grab a drink. All right, um, I'm ready. Uh, I was on a set yesterday and because of the COVID, I don't know if I know, have mentioned this, but I was on a set yesterday. Mm -hmm. Did everyone get that? Mm -hmm. We brought it up three times, four times. <laughs> um, no, but it was, it was with COVID, like normally there's like, people going like with the wardrobe and the de and there's all these like union rules where you let people do their thing in the clothes and the de and you know and they get your mic and what but with covid it was very much like you do everything yourself and just mm -hmm. bring you know it was like but the rules are also very amorphous and vague and you it didn't really know or whatever but i found myself for the first time in a really long time remembering advice that i got from my dad that um blew my mind which in relationships i was always the one that loved too much i was always the one that did everything i was always the one that gave too much i was always a, and um he said something to me once he was like be careful how self-sufficient you come off because it never occurs to anyone to help you mm -hmm. it never occurs to anyone that you need help right mm -hmm. so if you're not going to ask for help because i had a hard time asking for help or being able to acknowledge any kind of weakness and then uh trying to become so self-sufficient so everyone thinks i'm a strong woman and not needy and weak or fragile and I was on set and I was like, I'm so thirsty and I'm so, but how would anyone know that? And I'm in a mask and people can't read my face and whatever. Yeah. But in terms of like, like you and like Hollywood, there are a lot of assumptions. Like your name comes up and stuff and people are like, ah, she's fucking so rich. Why would she ever want to do this? Or like, or whatever. Or she's so, she's got her own thing going. Why'd she want, do you know what I mean? Like there is someone that needs to connect the worlds going, we want to be in business with you. You want to be in business with us. Let's figure out the way that works. Yeah, where we're both not- blend the two worlds. Right now they're yeah. like circling each other. I know. With a, a resentment of like, uh, but, but- But then there, there's some amazing like, huge movie stars like Kevin Hart and, and The Rock and they have massive social media followers yeah, yeah, yeah. and they take it very serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's that aspect and then there's like, oh yeah, oh you, you just oh, I can't post anything about that. That that, that would look bad. Yeah, um, but yeah. Yeah, that's really what happens. Is that I, you you're already in a situation where you have a bunch of people like 
making sure your business right you're then you're just if you get in business with big corporations they're just gonna go like and you can't have coke in this photo yeah it just oh, becomes, it yeah, becomes about yeah, that shit that but that's just deals, business yeah. that's just business I know. you know what i mean i know but yeah i i mean i think it's it's a lot better than what it was about like four or five years ago. It mm -hmm. was absolutely, you cannot be in this movie because of that. And yeah, then yeah. it started becoming like, oh, I would love for this girl to be in this movie because yeah, she could post about it or or yeah. benefit it. And then I, I yeah. won't spend as much money on advertising for this movie because I have her for That's that. stupid. It is, but at but least then, it's kind no, of but starting should, to mesh the world. They should pay you for posting. Uh, yeah. that, is, that is a, not this podcast, but other productions <laughs> should pay you. No, but it's like, no, that's a different service. So it it's, like, it's like, th this is why Hollywood needs to fucking catch up fast because they're going, okay, um, no one's watching anything, so let's just put you in this because you'll post about it later. It's like, no, bitch, write the part for her. Make it, mm -hmm. do you know what I'm saying? Just let's write the movie for her. Yeah. And then it's organic and natural. It's, it's, that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. They tried to do it. I saw it happen where influencers would come on and do TV shows for Sweeps Week. It did not bump the numbers. It doesn't <laughs> matter because your fans, they get Our you. internet, yeah. Yes. It's like, that would be new fans. They would follow you, but not the metrics are showing they don't follow right away. Mm -hmm. They're watching you on set, like I'm on the set of this Marvel movie and da 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 da. I mean, maybe that's different in a Marvel movie, it'll like come out or whatever. And your fans, if they're younger, they have to get their mom to help. But it's like, uh, yeah. for the most part, you're like, movie. oh yeah. my God, Hannah's on whatever this weekend, I'll watch it this weekend. Like yeah. I'll get to it eventually. Cause they've got you right here in their hand. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just, it's just like, it's such a different, that just really pisses me off. Cause it's like, I feel like so many content creators Hollywood didn't either or get or they didn't do their system or they didn't go through it and they're like I'm just gonna fucking do this on my own yeah, or, or they didn't give them a chance because I still feel like movie acting is different than internet acting yeah obviously so then if people see you know like somebody acting crazy or doing like a weird persona because it, it connects with the kids yeah they're seeing that as oh this girl can't do a dramatic role but it's like you're not they really do that, giving but they that They do that chance. no matter what. If you were in a sitcom, they'd say it. If you were in a uh, drama, yeah, they'd yeah. say you can't do comedy. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs to say something about you that's not true so yeah. they feel better today. Because they're, You know what I mean? It's like it never ends. Yeah, but you know? everybody needs to know internet acting is different than it's also, real acting. And yeah, sitcom versus series roles, of course. But it's also yeah. like a lot of people that are watching, like it's like, it's almost like, um. There's some videos that are like almost reminiscent to me because a lot of people are watching with the sound off and they're on going from here to here. It's like yeah. a two minute bite, a five minute bite, whatever. Um, and uh, it's almost like some of them feel like 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 Charlie Chaplin or something. The physical humor is so big. To tell a story big. and to yeah. be able to communicate with just, is so refreshing, especially because I feel like comedy is going in this direction with a lot of and shows. And that's how, that's how I feel like that's how it gets, yeah, sorry. Uh, I Invisible. feel like that's how, um, like especially like internet videos get global leave viral they transcend because um, it's physical language humor. barrier and uh, yeah mm -hmm. exactly like language but it's also like i think that's so important to say that because like whenever like snobby comedians are like oh this is like what and you're like but that they that's what you're supposed to that's for that mm -hmm. do you know what i'm saying yeah that's it's like it has to be super visual medium you have to communicate a ton with your face really really quickly and body language yeah, and like, then go into like certain characters if you're talking about your mom like do your little thing or whatever yeah i think you have that's like uh, siblings yeah i have a i have older sister yeah mm -hmm. let's get along mm -hmm. very different she's a doctor and she lives in washington what kind of doctor uh she, she uh she helps people give birth wow yes. that's yeah, wild i know <laughs> yeah that's wild mm -hmm. yep it has everything together she cleans I don't. Um, yep. <laughs> she Isn't has chickens. She just, I'm like staring at you. I'm kind of obsessed with you. You just like, there's not a lot of darkness that happens with you. <laughs> like, you know, you, you we went over this. I suppress, I, I suppress know. and suppress. <laughs> as soon as we call cut, she's like, oh, uh, but I'm yeah. calling my lawyers. No, but you, but you like, I, I, I very much, I've struggled my whole life with uh, silence and, and like, like when there's a silent moment, especially in front of cameras and stuff, you can usually see someone unravel and you're just like yeah. oh really oh that's yeah. such a nice compliment thank it's you it's like it's really whatever like between the therapy and your parents i don't know who owes, owes the compliment but mm. i'm just so impressed so you see people unravel in moments of silence no it's just like you know that when like when there's a silent moment you're just claiming your space and you're going it's your job to ask me another question 
you know what I'm saying? That is so funny. Whereas yeah. comedians are like, in the ring. it's just like, the, uh, I, yeah. I, I would go into like a nervous, <laughs> like your te- it's, it's, I need to learn that skill. Maybe it's the, the virus load. See, if, <laughs> you're just trying to not get my job. I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah. No, but there's something interesting okay. about like, like uh, that, that has just taken me so, so long of like, anytime you're like, even on a date or on a fucking job interview, whatever it is, like when you just, it's quiet. So you just start kind of running your mouth. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I, I used, I used to do that. Um, but I got over it. When you're done talking, you just stop talking. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying that's a skill. Like, mm-hmm. I don't, I like, that's just a good skill. But also, it's a skill in your sense that you can just think of topics off the top of your head and just and keep going with it. Yeah. And, and run with it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'd rather do yours. <laughs> yours looks more fun. <laughs> yours looks more like a fun life choice. <laughs> um, okay, last thing I'm going to ask you because we do this on the podcast with everyone is um, red flags. In the podcast, I always want someone to walk away with like a new, like I don't know, insight or piece of advice or just something. Or um, uh, I'm going to ask you the best advice you've gotten, and then any red flags in relationships. The best advice that I've gotten, mm-hmm. I would say recently I saw something online. It wasn't like somebody told it to me. It was don't worry about if they like you. Worry about if you like them. Ooh. Right? Write that down, everybody. Ooh, but I don't like anyone. Uh, <laughs> no, no. So, no. Yeah, like, so, well, if that's the case, then I never see anybody. But it kind of uh, it kind of goes yes, back to what so, we were talking about of like, so. oh, I hope I didn't hurt their feelings or whatever. Like, you know, just worry about yourself and it's, your feelings and take care of yourself. It's taken me, I, I mean, that is like, I mean, that's like, that's like a gnarly concept that I like wish I had heard earlier in my life because I was like, I just heard that last week too, and it's just been replaying in my head on repeat. Like, you know, when you hear like a great piece of advice, and you're like, "Where were you fucking 15 years I ago know, when I, was when I needed that?" The most. Exactly, exactly. I have my whole life been like, if someone wants to be friends with me, like, well, well, you get to be friends with me. Yeah. If someone wants to date me, it's like, well, what am I gonna do? Say no? <laughs> I guess we're just together now. Okay, I'm gonna wait till you cheat on me or something. Like, I just have to become such an asshole that you break up with me. Like, ugh. like yeah. I have to, it's such a reactive take on. Uh, people's approval that's so interesting I and know, then me too. yeah we run around and then it's also i'm like uh if something's negative online you go to your profile and you're like i'm looking at your profile you're a fucking loser you've d- contributed nothing to society i still i'm still upset that you don't like me i know and i don't like and you i don't even know Based you personally i truly hate you exactly yet i need yeah. you to love me i know um regarding red flags though i think i, I just have too many uh, probably like little ones. That's um, good. That's there's no such thing as too many, uh, <laughs> too much self-respect. I have too many red flags. There's no too such thing. many. I mean, I could, I could go off. I could go on and on yeah, and on. Yeah. But obviously, a clear red flag is if you're hanging out, you know, with a guy for his, the first time and can't get off his phone. He's hiding the phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. 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 That's yeah. That's no. No, no good. car. If you know, like he just asks you to move in off the top. <laughs> Doesn't have a credit card. That's just you. That's not other <laughs> other women are like, it's never happened to me before. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um yeah, if just moochers. Homeless, moochers. Um, yeah, mm, steals from you. Um <laughs> this is getting very autobiographical. And um, do you need to borrow some money? Are you okay? Do you need some <laughs> Should we hey so I know. Um yeah, so, so that's real like, specific. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh! I know too um, soon. Uses your eye cream to jerk off with. <laughs> um, um. Oh, that was Lemaire, but whatever. Um. Oh. <laughs> this is getting so specific. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> those are good. Those are good. Those are like that was great. Greatest. Your your red flag. That's how well, I mean. Um, but yeah, there. I like the smaller, non obvious ones. The little ones. The little ones. Little like that. Those are the what like the little ones. Like, um, oh, if he, I, I think if he acts like completely different around his friends than he does with you ooh, personally. Oh, I've never met any of my boyfriend's friends. Hmm. That might I'm be kidding. a red flag too. <laughs> wait, you've met? Wait, the but guys you date let parents? you meet what? his friends? Oh, huh. I t- by the way, I just got stuck on this thing with my necklace. Um, like, ah. Yeah, what do you mean? Oh, to fuck them in front of him. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, um, um, um I. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know why that like raised something in my head. No, I um I also think if they speed in parking garages, red flag. That is maybe the best one I've heard. Really? 100%. <laughs> yeah. Like they don't care about themselves. They don't care about their car, their personal belongings. They don't care about people walking to their car. That is such That's a perfect. good one. Mm -hmm. Also, unnecessarily backing into the space so you can save time pulling out. <laughs> yeah. You're not like you're like the, the amount of time you're, you're like guys have to pull in back into the hardest possible space or something. Oh, yeah. I don't know what they're like. Yeah. Why are there so many tire streaks why and didn't, screeches going on in the freaking in parking garages? Why didn't, but why don't you just pull in and back out? Mm -hmm. Why? Like a lot of red flags happen in parking garages. A lot. Yeah. How long it takes you to get out of your car if you know somebody's waiting to take your parking if spot. If you ever date a man and hear the tire screech mm -hmm. in a parking garage, and it's a Get out. If, yeah, yeah, get if out. he's not Logan Paul, <laughs> if he doesn't, you know what I'm saying? If he's not doing it for as a career, if he's not a race car driver, if he's not a Lewis professional. Lewis Hamilton. Yes, yeah, Mazda, absolutely. I don't know what that is. Yeah. You're too young. Um, <laughs> but um, that's such a good one. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's a good one. Um, what else did I have recently? Uh, I had a weird little one. Guys that delete texts as they go. Mm. Oh, and DMs. I don't oh, it's I didn't even know you could do that. I always delete my DMs and texts. It's just a habit. Oh, yeah, yeah. How did you develop that habit <laughs> and why? What are you hiding? <laughs> yeah, red flag. That's a great one too. Wow. But what is it with you with the, with with why do you guys have to DM on Instagram? Why can't you just text? Mm -hmm. Psychos. And what is this Snapchat? You, I'm saying, I, yeah. What, <laughs> why is everybody saying, Snapchatting? But I'm just saying you. I don't. Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't they know don't, because they it don't. disappears with me. I don't. I thought that was gone. I thought Snapchat <laughs> disappeared, not just the messages. I thought the entire app disappeared. So that's on you, and you need to get new friends. But uh, no, but I don't. Um, you know that all that's like going to fa like Facebook owns everything we text on Instagram. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, bad. Yeah, iMessage, WhatsApp. FaceTime, no, call me. No. Why is it DMs? Yeah. Interesting following porn stars or lingerie models. Yeah. I'm good. Liking all their pictures. Just Google porn and watch it. <laughs> when you want yes. to alone. Yeah. Why are you making me know? Why what... are you making the public? Also, why do you know want to like, look at a naked girl during the day, like just as you're looking at you don't know what that's going to be sandwiched in between on your feed. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I your niece, if your mom, it is like porn a star. boyfriend. Oh, yeah, oh no. you know. I don't know how your grids. I don't know exactly. what. I don't know who else you follow. Mm, I know, I know. And then it pops up on your for you page, or not for you page, the explore page, and then you're like, oh, why, why is this here? Oh, I see the guy I'm talking to. <gasps> like wait, it. Okay, wait, wait. Are you telling me that your explore page? Gives you insight on the guy you're dating, yeah. who they follow, because yeah. you've been. De sometimes, sometimes it pops up once in a blue moon. Yeah, you can find out. That's the tea. I know. That's that the full is, kettle the way, right there. Not only is that the tea, I need to like, <laughs> I need to like make some calls. Like it's like it, it makes. You're like I need to pull up my Instagram right now. That's the type of information that is like changes your life mm -hmm. in a way that might not be good. Oh yeah, I know, I know. That, that's a dice roll. Like I haven't even put that together. Yeah. Cause I like, I go to my, my explore page is all like girls twerking and I'm always like, I guess it's cause I follow Cardi B. And I, <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, no, and I probably poured it. This but... is what he follows. I don't uh... need to go look at his follows. <laughs> this could be, cause it's the, like the top five people that you text with the most. Cause yeah. also if you, if I, if you text me, my birthday's coming up which it mm -hmm. came, and it's raining out, I'll get ads for an umbrella oh. on the thing. Yeah, so I had this whole conversation with someone uh, yeah. uh, at the internet. Um, I talked to the internet guy. I like how you say that. I talked internet. to the president of the internet, and um, he told me uh, that it's the top five people that you DM with, and then if they say it's my birthday or it's whatever, and then they'll market you things that that person has clicked on mm -hmm. or Googled on their computer on their Wi-Fi, which is a separate cord, which is, makes it especially impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> Robots, technology, are we in a simulation or not? This is, this is out, of, out of control, I but love, very smart. I love you. I end these very awkwardly. 
Um, what do you want to talk about? Because let's be honest, you need promotion for your thing. <laughs> You're struggling in your career. Oh my goodness, I love you more, Whitney. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on the podcast. I always have so much fun hanging How out with you. How come you don't have a podcast? I'm always curious. You. Um, I think I've just I been... do not recommend it. Really? Why? Yeah. It's just like hard. It's just like hard. It's hard. It's 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 hard for my personality type because I'm just like beat myself up too much. But what? Um, I'm just curious if that's something that that I think it's something that might maybe happen will happen down the road because you are uh yeah i'm just curious because for someone like you it's really a matter of not what you're gonna do it's when you're gonna do it and mm -hmm. like in what order yeah you i know? think that's definitely down the road and then there's um, this pressure to do like everything right the second i know because you're so, a woman so and you're managing rotting. everything else that i've just got on board with and then we'll you can do a podcast anytime yeah that's what i'm saying do that when that's you're like saying. like done like yeah <laughs> when you're ready to look like this every day <laughs> and when you're ready to just let let people think that you've had a manic break and you don't care because i'm still getting over your uh who your cares COVID if, if i like you what, is, what was the COVID? who cares if i like you what, do worry I... about if you like them not oh. if they like you oh see of course i turned it uh -huh. into um uh so okay so there's this the last thing i'll say <laughs> is there was a uh, george haas does this um uh attachment style class that helps you change your attachment strategy you need you, this uh, send think, me the link no i think you're secure no no I was, I've, Abandonment I, issues. I think you're what intimacy issues? Abandonment. <gasps> yeah, that's the opposite. Okay. Abandonment issues are a form of intimacy issues. Don't let me blow your mind, but I will. <laughs> your brain just <laughs> Yeah. Your face just first. <laughs> My eye starts bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> just make the camera side eye. I just yeah, I know it's like the tear of blood. Can you just cheat to camera? Like she something horrible happens to someone, I'm like, can you cheat to camera? I'm just like che just cheat out, just banana out. Banana, banana out. Banana out. Just rag zoom focus real quick. Um, I forgot. What was it? Something. Oh, I, I love you. Keep going. Okay, so I love you. Okay, so George Haas. The whole thing is like codependence. We get entrenched in relationships, and we don't. Uh, uh, even if it's toxic and and it's addictive, it's hard to leave, right? Um, and uh, the un, like the familiar pain is better than the unfamiliar, unknowing pain. Yeah, but the whole thing, blah blah blah. And uh, there's a, a meditation uh, for preoccupied attachment styles, which is like anxious when you're like worried the person's gonna abandon you or leave or. You know, he only texted me once today. Or she, she didn't call me back at this time. You know that the, that what are they doing? That old stuff yeah. that comes up. Yep. Um, and uh, uh, the inner child reactions and the the meditation is I love you. Keep going. Like mm. I love you. Like keep going. So so what do you do? You meditate and then you say that in your head. You kind of just say it in your head. I love you. Keep going. And it's there's a little bracelet. Like it's just a a a, 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 a it sounds kind of like like whatever, but it's it's actually really powerful in rewiring your brain that's not like i love you you need to be at my disposal all the time because relationships can't grow if yeah. you're suffocating each other so it's like you go out with your friends go have experiences i'm gonna separation have, is healthy yeah come back in and now i have something to talk to you about because we're not together 24 yes, fucking seven. and it keeps it alive and keeps i love you fresh. keep going keep growing like because oh, if yeah. i don't want you in five years to go like i'm the same person i was five years ago because of this like you have to keep growing in your relationships yeah and um but I'm like so codependent fucked up. We were all gonna go get tattoos and we didn't, by the way. Um, and uh, we were like going down to the tattoo thing and I had heard the meditation that day. And um, we went down and I was like, oh, so what is it? I love you, don't leave me. And they were like, oh, no. I'm like, no, keep going. That's oh, not. Looks so good, by the way, the white ink, oh, it's thanks. amazing. But I love the, the idea that I thought that was the saying. I know, you're like, like no. I need to check in. It's the Therapist. opposite. <laughs> yeah. I love you, don't leave me. <laughs> like I'm just like, but yeah, but it's um uh, I'm very excited. I have a new tattoo, two new tattoos. Two new, and we will we'll we'll go over that. that yeah, we'll go over one. that. No, no, no. Yeah. we'll have another session. Yeah, we'll, have we'll go down session. to Doctor we'll FaceTime. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, Jen we'll go Anderson. down. To, we'll go down. We'll go down to. <laughs> we'll go to her house actually. Mark Mahoney. <laughs> yeah. Hey Jen, can you pay to have this removed? <laughs> this is technically your fault. I'm I'm yeah. gonna be there too, just to make sure everything's I'm, okay. She's gonna pay for the Doctor Tatoff session. <laughs> yes. To fix. <laughs> the, the the tetanus in my body. Oh my um, goodness! Uh, I love you so much. I what love a you dream. more. Um, don't ride elephants. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's what I say at the end of every podcast. Okay. Uh, don't ride elephants. Um, mostly uh, 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 African elephants um, can't be tamed. Hannah, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for doing this, even though it probably hurt your career, quite frankly. Um, oh my gosh, I love you so I much. I couldn't Whitney. find Thank you. you so like much. you haven't done a ton of podcasts. No, this is my third one. That's so wild. Yeah. Simon Rex, 
impulsive and now this yes Look at oh this. that's right i haven't listened to you on uh, logan paul show really yeah i also tattooed somebody on there what yeah Cut i thought you saw that i thought you no, saw that I didn't. That's you asked. no i don't watch impulsive oh, sorry okay. <laughs> that's not my go-to program at night logan oh my gosh i, I love actually you. love logan paul. So... i think i'm going on it oh yeah you should. i was supposed to really yeah i was supposed to go on with him um, mike Tim they're Dill. all such great great guys yeah i don't know them but i, I don't do well with like hot um, successful men, I get mad at them. Sorry. Oh yeah, and Logan's like, I just dropped three mil on some Pokemon cards. I'm like, I get love angry. That. That's I'm like, but has your you. girlfriend come in the last year? <laughs> like, I get very like adversarial <laughs> with men, like rich, hot, young men. I'm just like, but what if you fucking donated? I get like angry. I think, yo, my my abs are sore Sorry. from laughing so much. You are so funny. I appreciate you so much for having me here. I love you. We're going to make you, you come more. back. And I'm sorry. I better come back. I love you guys. <laughs>